so that is now going. Um, and let us um, <laughs> let us start the session then. So, a little bit of a recap from not last week, the week before, because we weren't here last week. So, last week, um, you guys, uh, after having made the deal uh, with the collector um, to go and rob an artifact of power um, from a powerful uh, high demon called um, Astromar. Um, I'm just losing people in uh, Discord like mad. Um, so after <coughs> after accepting the deal to steal this artifact in exchange for the power to return you home back to the material plane, you made a secondary deal with the strange tiefling. Um, <coughs> and I've com after the top of my head, I've completely forgotten his name. Someone help me out here. Demi. Demetrius. Demetrius. That's it. Or Demi. Thank you. Zin's boyfriend. Zin's boyfriend, indeed. Um, my apologies. Um, uh, you made a secondary deal with Demi to hand over the ring of... Um, oh my god, non-detection. Uh, in exchange for the abilities for two of you to speak, write, read, understand, etc, etc. Uh, infernal while in, uh, while in the plane of the hells. Uh, Ranos and Nera signed up. Um, put... Uh, signed yeah, up, yeah, gaining the gaining the ability uh, to speak the language, and then handing over the ring. Should you break said said contract, your souls are forfeit. Um, basically, don't steal the ring back, and you're okay. Theoretically. Following that, you devised a plan to visit to to um, dress yourselves up as slaves and demon and devils. Uh, borrowing some slave robes and slave collars from Demetrius, uh, you've made your way to Aramis' estate, uh, going via the side door that um, Ranos had scouted out before with his arcane eye, um, bluffing your way past uh, the Chain Devil Guard, um, stating that you had slaves for Aramis. Fresh slaves. Fresh slaves. A um, bit, uh, bit of back and forth happened, but uh, the char charismatic duo won through, and you were allowed entry into the estate itself. Uh, you entered into a strange slaves' quarters type area, which seemed to be able to stray uh, slave pens and a kitchen and a laundry room and everything combined, uh, with about two dozen slaves working and also a handful of guards. Um, after a bit of a kerfuffle, some pushing, some shoving, and some shouting, uh, combat ensued, and very quickly uh, all three guards were dispatched. Uh, the slaves themselves. Uh, not really reacting, not doing a lot, um, continuing uh, to do their daily their daily tasks and their duties, probably for fear of reprisal. And that is pretty much where we left off. So you guys find yourselves in this lovely hand-drawn map of uh, Aramis' estate. Uh, you are currently in uh, one of the one of the if almost the corners um, of the estate. Uh, you have. Make sure you're on the map. Yep, that's it. Uh, you have two doors uh, around you. You have a large set of both of them large sets of double doors. One of them heading, if the purposes of if looking at a top-down map, one heading east, uh, while the other one heads north. And we came from the east one. You came. Sorry, you, sorry, my mistake. Uh, there is. You came in from the east door. There is a door to the. I'm terrible with east and west. Uh, there is a door to the west and the door to the north. The door to the west is larger than the door to the north. Okay. Um, and for the purposes of this as well, um, feel free. You have obviously you can make do drawings and such. The ma the terrible map. I'll expand it slightly so it's a little bit easier to work with. Uh, to that bit. Uh, feel free. I'm. I do not have a map to give you here. I, well, scratch that. I do. I'm not going to. I'm not giving you a map. Um, you are tracking yourselves <coughs> at this point. Sweet. So, is that box I've got locate object up? You have yes, and you did cast locate object, and you found that the item was somewhere below you towards the northeast. Okay, so that we kind of need to get. In that, it was towards the north. Was it like down as well? It was. Um, sorry, I'm just consulting my map and trying to think of the other maps and lay them over each other. Um, no, it is in a northeasterly direction, like that way. Okay. It, did it feel up or down? It's down. 
it's down, far so below it's... you. It's kind oh. of like a uh, down north, uh, down north east. Mm-hmm. I grab north, one of north, the east, but I, w- I want to grab one of the slaves and ask, how do you get? How do I get to the lower uh, levels, the the basement, the cellar? Okay, so you 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 grab one of these uh, yeah. enslaved individuals in your own slave robes, and he kind of looks. At you, you grab this um, what appears to be an older human male, uh, kind of like that friar tuck ring of, of white hair, um, who's uh, in the process of, process of about to grab a, a bag of onions. Uh, <laughs> um, he just turns around and looks. Onion at boy. You. Onion boy. <laughs> you see the dark black metal collar that sits uncomfortably around his neck, and you can see uh, red marks and sores where it's been. Obviously, he's worn this collar for quite some time, mm-hmm. uh, and it's definitely rubbed uh, and caused caused him some pain. He doesn't say anything, but he just he just looks at you with uh, quite fearfully and points at the western door. Uh, points okay. out of this door here yeah good um the the devils <clears throat> they they dissipated right the devils after you killed them they did uh vaporize mm-hmm. i also want to pick up my stuff from ranas okay oh yeah right do, 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 do. i dole out everything i have okay. can i get rushed again so are you completely rearming yourselves that's gonna take a while It'll take you about 10 minutes to don all of your gear. We have 20 minutes until Otter Cell fades on Nira. We should I have 10 move. minutes for this locate object spell. Can we get dressed in like 10 or 20? Just, yeah, I'm okay not doing just, with armor. Just, just give me my weapon. Yeah. I'll be happy. Okay. Any stains left by the devils? Anything that could identify a kerfuffle except for the uh, slaves make, themselves? Make me an investigation check. Okay. Just rev up the old, rev up the old character Thanks. sheet. From, from. Uh, okay, you have a look around and you kind of scan the area of the ground uh, like this, uh, dark, almost like a dark marbly type material. And you look uh, as you as you have a look around. There are indeed some small scorch marks on the ground where the devils fell. However, as you look around, there are a lot of scorch marks, kind of all around this area. There are this uh, the area has got scrapes. It's got chipped floors, um, you can see what appears to be some blood stains here and there. Um, this does not appear to be an immaculately kept area, mm. but you this do know sucks. <laughs> that you do know that uh, where the devils were, they did leave a mark. So okay, if you were to I've... do this elsewhere, it may cause you issues. Mm. <laughs> I mean, you smudge it a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Um, but there's still definitely a sooty explosion mark. It's not like it's a laid down like <laughs> chalk outline of a devil. Um, <laughs> okay. But there is just like a uh, small, a small, um, what's the word? Scorch mark on the ground. Mm-hmm. Okay, I, uh, you go on. Yeah, uh, I grab onion guy again, <laughs> and, <laughs> and I ask him, uh, "Is there someone beyond that door?" And I point to the west. He just looks at you um, and uh, nods. Okay. So we can't just barge through, I say to the group. I okay. make onion myself guy look. his big bag of onions and totters off. <laughs> oh, can I steal uh... an onion? I want an onion. <sighs> you obtain one onion. I'm gonna start oh. eating the onion. Make me a Constitution saving throw. <laughs> well. But to not cry! Is it, cry. A, is it a, a red onion or is it a white onion? It's a white onion. Ah, okay. Are you, you biting into this <laughs> onion? It's horrible! And you just tears start streaming down your face. It was a really bad idea, guys. You, you didn't even peel it first, you just got like onion <laughs> crap all over, your, all over your face. You just look weird. Alright. Um, I'm glad I made it back for this. <laughs> you made it I, for a good time. I, I will make myself look like one of the the dog guard devils that were in here. Uh, so they were barb devils. Is that something I could do with uh, the? 
Um, Minor illusion? Yes, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, you can do that. Fight. The They're medium creatures, um, and you've you've definitely encountered them enough now that you can imitate them. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> the barbs, obviously, they kind of protrude a good, like, ten inches out of your back and out of everywhere, but they obviously have no corporeal <laughs> to them. Mm. Bless you. Um, if you are okay with it, I will peek through the door. Sure. Do you have gloves <laughs> of recon? No? Do you have that? I, I, I still do have those. I keep forgetting what the, how they work, though. They have a very limited <laughs> amount of time on them. Yeah. You can only use uh, them for less than... I think you can use them for, like, a minute, if that, before they're expired. Yeah, but you can... Uh, slice up the second. Oh, you can slice it up, but it's more of a case of if you want to have a, if you want to do a good scan, that's a good like 10, 10 seconds or so to, to yeah. scan the area type thing. So it's but you could go like to, do them. to see if there is someone and step through. Okay, so you pop, uh, place your hand upon upon the thick, heavy door, uh, wooden door, and you you peer through. Um, how thick can the gloves pierce? Uh, let me find them. Um, Five feet, probably. Oh, you're you're yeah. fine then. Uh, you kind of pierce through, and beyond, you can see a cor a, a large corridor uh, that uh, continues on for about about thirty or so feet uh, before opening up into a larger space. The corridor itself is about ten feet wide and about thirty feet long and about fifteen feet tall. So um, I don't know, meter and a half by uh, two meters by I don't know, twenty meters. I don't know. I'm not very good at um, metric, um, but yeah, uh, it's a it's a sh it's a short co it's a relatively short corridor, uh, but quite long, and it opens up into a larger area. Um, it's not dark; you can see well enough. It is well lit, and you can see what appears to be um, just outside on the other side of the corridor. You can see um, what appears to be uh, a stair railing or something, but you can't see much else. Okay, I'll go through then. Um, any creatures in the? Make uh -oh. the perception check for that. You have a quick glance around about. Um, uh, you don't see anything. Okay, I'll step through. Okay. Uh, what about what about the rest of you? Are you following or are you hanging back? Hang back, well, I'll, hang I'll, back I'll, I'll just go close. check. Okay. I, I, I'm putting my, my my gloves and shield on and switching out for my sword because I miss it. <laughs> okay. Okay, so Reynolds, as you creep, are you creeping forwards? Are you walking brazenly? No, just, just I'm I'm guard here, so I'll just lock forward, you know. Okay. Guard it, guard style. Make me a. I want to make a, a just for just for fun. I want you to make me a performance check to imitate Devil Walk. That's not bad. You get you get the swagger just right. <laughs> um. As you head for, you head down the corridor. You kind of get to the end. You're met with a very large, um, what appears to be a circular room, um, and you can see this big, heavy set of spiral staircases sw uh, swirling around a central column. Um, <laughs> that's it. Uh, you can see this uh, heavy set of uh, stone stairs ascending up into the ceiling from where you are. Um, Mm -hmm. And you can all, you can see um, heading over towards the left of this circular circular room. You can see another door heading southwards, another one heading northwards. And okay. also, give me a survival check. Okay. With advantage. Good. Nice. Oh. <laughs> um, okay. So, and as you, you ever think, and you use your um, obviously your your mighty cartographer's brain. Um, and from your scouting from the outside, you get the idea that this stairwell might correspond with the with the with the primary tower of the building. Oh yeah, okay. Um, sorry, on the map. Um... So that circle there is the primary tower. Type. Yeah, this this thing is the room. That's the kind slaves? of the room. This is all rough, very very yeah, yeah, rough. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's just to give you an idea. I'm just drawing. Go for it. Yeah, draw, but draw. the tower is in the middle of the thing, mm -hmm. of the house. Yeah, pretty much in the middle of the uh, of yeah. the tower. Does house. the stairwell also lead down? It's hard to see from here because it's kind of like got a wall that spirals round. You can you 
can go and investigate okay. more if you want. I'll, I'll go back first. Um, are there any slaves about? Uh, make me a perception check. You have a look around, you don't see anybody. But okay. after you kind of look around for a second, uh, and then you do hear something. If that sounds like a very heavy footfall, somewhere nearby, it's hard to I'll get a read. There's a lot of walls, a lot of uh, a lot of things for things to echo off of it. But there is definitely heavy footsteps somewhere nearby. Okay, I'll go back uh, and get the others. Okay, you retreat down the corridor and head back into the slaves' room. Okay, so there's a, a big, uh, a long corridor and um, a big stairwell. I think it probably leads up, leads up to the uh, uh, the tower. And uh, maybe there's also a stairwell going down. I hope. Yeah. Um, should we check that northern door as well? Um, I'm guessing you do that while I'm not here. Yeah. You do that yeah, if you I want can do. To. Okay. Yeah, so... I can just sort of. Pop it open and peek through. Okay, so there's a, this one's definitely a smaller door. Um, mm -hmm. What you consider made for humanoid-sized people. I'm sorry, medium creatures. A medium to large. And you can see as you open it up, there is a very dimly lit corridor uh, heading northward mm -hmm. um, into uh, another door. It goes about 20, 30 feet. Not, a hu not very far, uh, but it seems to be... Um, a, a small area, a uh, small corridor. It also, it almost reminds you of you've seen some of like the small servants' corridors, which dot around keeps and stuff. It reminds you of that. Mm. Uh, so when Ranos comes back, <laughs> I say, and he tells us all the things. I, I just say, there's also possibly a servants' uh, corridor, so, so like a back entrance. <coughs> we oh. could try to sneak around that way. Instead of just heading straight towards the more... Yeah, I mean, at the very least, it should get us uh, closer. Yeah. Probably the servants won't be going down there necessarily, but... should I, I heard some big-ass footfalls, so I'm hoping uh, that... Right. These corridors might be able to hide us. Yeah. But we should also hurry, since Nira's spell... Yes. Let's t make a decision. <laughs> How I much vote. time has passed since I cast Locate Object? For about five minutes. Okay. Cool. Can we at least just while, get while downstairs? So yeah, we can while we're, of... Sorry, while we're walking, um, <clears throat> if you can't speak because you're a slave, just tap me on the corresponding direction on my back or something. Alright? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Let's go. Five minutes. Five, five minutes. We're going north. Well, I yeah, say no. we follow Ranos because I doubt it to where we need to go you'll be able to get there to slave or servant tunnels. That's a good point. Sorry, I didn't catch that. I don't think we're going to be able to get where we need to go through the servant tunnels. I feel we mm. probably have to go through the main building. Good point. So, you're right. Yeah. I'm not taking my stuff back off. So I vote that we just move forward, move quickly, and just if we make a shit decision, we make a shit decision, but as long as it's fast. Yeah. Maybe yeah. you should take your shield and weapon off. You have this amazing dagger you can hide on your person. Mm. If there's a haunt devil walking outside and sees you with Sword and shield in hand, um, I think our cover would be blown. Don't make me feel weird. Say that to me. I know. I, I'm not using the mandolin. You know how weird that is? Fine. You mean this, Fine. You, you're not a barb devil musician, God? <laughs> yeah, it's, <laughs> only, it's, it's only the, the gauntlets, the we, sword, and the yeah. shield. They're easy to take off and put back on. The, I can do we, that in like We need to seconds. move quickly, and if I can also grab. If anyone has a spare dagger, just a cube on myself, that'll be very helpful. Well, I have one, but it's not magic. That's fine. <laughs> um, I just, I just need, I just need a focus, and then I'll be able to wreck shit. 
Okay. All right. Um, right. Same procedure uh, as last time. Nira and I go, and you swords follow. Yep. Uh, I'll, I'll point behind you if we seem like we're going somewhere really stupid. Okay. Let's go check out the staircase. Mm -hmm. Slowly, since there's probably sound like a patrol, maybe. Okay, so you being sneaky. Yes. Cautious. Okay, I'd like a group stealth check, please. Yeah. Yes. yes. I'm not yes. to blame. <laughs> <laughs> not terrible. Ooh. I don't even need to be sneaky, really. You don't. Okay, you guys. They managed to roll a performance check. A, t a, a little ninjas are roll for. Uh, Have we not still got thingy up the sort of pass without trace? I don't think so. Uh, I don't think you ever cast it. Yeah. Okay, so uh, that's not a bad. Um, it's probably averages out using really, really quick maths about 17, 18. Okay, so you guys uh, make your way as a group into the corridor. And as you get to the end of this long corridor where it ends up, uh, Ranos, uh, you spot just off to the right uh, the back of one of these horn, those horned devils who appears to be doing the patrol of the area, heading back up the northern corridor seems to be quite slow, but you can also see this massive uh, great sword slung across, slung across his back between the two wings. Uh, doesn't seem to be wielding it right now, uh, but definitely on the lookout. Uh, it's not been long since you went back and forth, so you get the idea it's probably a relatively short patrol route. Uh -huh. Is that about right for what you were saying? Uh, there is a corridor heading that way, you don't know how far it goes. Okay, so he is currently but there's heading a corridor. this way. There's a corridor, yeah, so he went, he went, you guys are here, he's going that way, and you just saw him disappear up this corridor. Okay. Up this tiny uh. six-foot corridor. So if Where he turns stairs? around there, then it would suck. So the stairs are pretty much just literally in the center here. Okay, do they lead, uh, lead down? Um, so if you, are you making your way out to have a look around? Yeah, I, I, I'm heading yeah. in front of the group. Okay, uh, are you going clockwise or counterclockwise? I'm going this way. Counterclockwise. Okay, as you head round, um, you do notice uh, that as you go around that side, it's just kind of more wall. But as you circle around, when you get back to the front here, um, the stairway does have um, two directions. It does go up, to, so if you, if you're facing like this way now as you walked around. It does go up to the, to, to the right, it goes up, to the left, it goes down. So it does descend, wow. and just for this is a large staircase. This is not quite the same sail size and scope as the storm giants that you dealt with, but these stairs, the stair steps themselves are about they're not far off of about six foot. They're quite five six foot. They're quite big. You could climb them and descend them, but it will take you time. Can we slide on the rail? The rail is quite high, unfortunately, but you could try. Um, can I give him a bunk up to the rail so he can slide down it? <laughs> between, between the two of you, you could. Uh, to, between two of you, you probably could reach the rail. Um, I think this is hopefully it. Jojo, floating down. Um, does it feel? Uh, it feels. Right I mean, further away, because mm. it was. It was when you were here. It was pointing like this. Now it's just pointing like this. So okay. the down, down feels like the down direction. Down, down should be right. good. I mean, it still feels so, down. It just feels slightly up more. It looks like you're. It feels like you're walking away from it right now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We've gone on a tangent, but it could be that way. As long as we go down and that way. Let's go down and see. Yeah. It's not where I found anyway. So. It's not going to much last longer. So we need just need to get down so I can point us in yeah. the right direction. Let, does the rain look slidey when I? my hands across it's quite high up so you can't see the top of it unfortunately this is this is okay this is a railing designed for creatures about 20 foot tall uh, okay <laughs> to oh. give you an idea it's i'm gonna jump over it <sighs> yeah, I, mean, I got it i got it are you do I jumping down the, the stairwell <laughs> just I'm, a I'm shot jump over i it. mean you could probably if you angled it correctly from where you are you probably could try and get yourselves onto the railing and slide down if you want to, but... Um, I would do that. 
I'm okay. gonna do that. I would like an acrobatics check from you, Jojo. Is anyone else following suit? <laughs> yeah. You jump and you just you slide the re down the railing about five feet and then you fall off the side and you hit a stair on the way down and you kind of crack your shin on it and it really hurts and you do take three points of damage. I'm okay. Uh, okay, I'm okay. Uh, let's let's. let's <laughs> you, the rest of you watch as Jojo does a running jump, grabs onto it, swings herself up Legolas style, slides down and doof, and then ow. Uh, uh, let's just let's just I try to go six. down. I yeah. so badly for that. Okay then. So jump, 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 jump. jump, jump, jump. And you start heading down the stairs. Um, as you make so bad for the knees. <laughs> as you make your way down the stairs and begin to curve around, you can hear above you those footsteps once more. Heavy footfalls. As this creature continues its patrol. You continue descending down uh, the stairs. You descend for a good while, actually. You you are travelling slowly. Um, it does take a while to try to drop down these stairs without harming yourselves. Um, and you tr you head downstairs for about about five minutes uh, before you're confronted with a large, um, fifteen foot tall door. Uh, it has a simple metal handle on it. There's no writing, no wording, just a simple, solid wooden door. But it is big. Locks? You have a look up, you do not... S uh, actually, there is a keyhole. Mm. If the door is massive, big. how big is the keyhole? Keyhole's quite big. Big enough for a person to fit through? Hard to tell, you'd have to get up. It's about... Uh, probably a small person could. Or a skinny person. Might be able to shimmy though. Zin's quite small and skinny. <laughs> so someone <laughs> small, sure. skinny, and lithe potentially could um, <laughs> slink their way through. Yeah, I love <laughs> the small person is probably also the widest person. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's gonna be Giovanni if it's anybody. Um, <laughs> he's got, he's is got there, is a good. crack through the door? It's definitely got a flush. Um, it's not quite. It's not flush, uh, but it's pretty tight. Okay. Oh wait. Zzz. You look through it. Yeah. And there is a beyond Five that door, seconds. there is a corridor uh, that doesn't go very far and then turns right out of your view. Creatures? It, uh, you can't see any, it is very dark though. Okay. Is uh, it a pushy I or pulley? It, it looks like it's a pushy. Let's uh, pushy? Can we yeah, I think pushy. it's time I think it's time push. now to stick our stuff on. Because there's no way we're gonna be able to talk out of being caught anywhere around here. Probably you're right, so yeah, there you go. Okay, so it's going to take okay. about 10 minutes to don your gear. Yeah, stay um, on what's important, and if we hear anything, go to the door and then we can put on afterwards. Try to get as much on now. Jojo, um, what was your last ping on uh, your spell? Still below? Beep, 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 ayo. So now that you've descended, you're How deep much... out did we go? You descended for about five minutes. Oh. Um, oh, down. You, you, well, that it slowly. you think so, but you descended very slowly. Okay. Um, so you probably you haven't you probably only descended um, between um, maybe about sixty to hundred feet. Yeah. So it's not that mm -hmm. far. It's quite far, but not that far. Um, and Jojo, with your spell, you are no longer really feeling that downwards tilt. Yeah. But by the it's... time you don your gear, the spell will fade. I think it's straight on that way. So if we just keep going in a more that uh -huh. way direction, but it's beginning to fade now anyway. I can, if we keep going in that direction in a bit, I can, I'll cast it if, if we get confused again, but I think it's more or less that way. Okay. Um, all right, let's gear up. So Nira's probably also by now probably not a devil. Uh, by now, by the time you get your gear sorted, I, uh, I think it was fair to say that by the time you've sorted all of your gear out and you've got to this point, that pretty much everything you had is gone to has ended. Also, why did I jump down the street stairwell? That was stupid. Yeah, <laughs> that was so you. <laughs> that was 
dumb, slightly dumber than me. This place is weird. <sighs> Obviously, just messes um. with you. <sighs> right. Um, there didn't seem to be anyone on the other side, so we should probably push. I would like. Right. Uh, yeah. Before I say, I'm going to turn around to Nira and go. This is probably going to be a bit since I'm with the journey. If you want to use that spell I'll put in, I would use it now. What spell are you referring to? The armor Agathis. Sorry. Oh. I was watching the episode today, catching up, so I thought it was tonight. She has armor Ath Ath of Agathis in her spellstone. Uh, yes, if she wants to use it because it lasts for an hour. Okay, she will cast armor of Agathis on herself and get that cool shimmery uh, icy armor spell. Sweet. Um, that fades again. Hmm. She, I'll cast she, nature she, armor as well. And Giovanni glows, but it's less impressive. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to go back to my AC is high again. Okay, so you spend 10 minutes donning your gear. You are now fi faced with this big ass door with a, that, oh, is, worse than that is locked. <laughs> On the crit roll wiki, uh, wiki uh, a door is actually listed as an enemy. <laughs> you know what, that doesn't surprise me. No. <laughs> uh, okay, let's give it a push. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It push is it. locked. It is locked. Mm. And heavy. Okay, let's, let's fuck up the lock. Um, can someone give me a boost? Yeah. This is not gonna yeah. work. But, yeah. uh, uh, both, both me and... Jojo will put our hands out so he has a two foot boost. Okay. Also, you're so slightly you boost you and you boost me. It's like yeah, a really I'm lopsided like... boost. <laughs> she's like, yeah, she's just at like chair tight. I'm like pushing the book ahead. <laughs> okay, and then I Ranos. stop pushing I'll have a look at the lock with my thief tools that are way too small to do anything. Uh, this looks like a rather conventional lock. It does not appear to be mechanical. It is just about six times mm -hmm. larger than you're used to. Yeah, I use the red one instead. <laughs> okay, give me a Thieves' Tools check. <laughs> and you guys watch as Ranos pulls his rapier on. He's just like. Mm, 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 the dagger, and just it's hold the dagger there. And it's just like. And then after it, you're like, oh, this isn't working. And with the last sigh, as you kind of drop your arms, you hear a click. And the door opens. <laughs> Yes. Well, <laughs> thank you, Shar. Guidance. Um, you successfully pick the devil lock with a rapier. Um, <laughs> I'll give you that. I'll give you points for that one. And the door becomes slightly looser, and you feel like you could push it open now. Okay, let's give it a push. It will require most of you to do it. <laughs> I'm gonna try and push Vanos whilst also still simultaneously holding. Oh, push the door while still holding Vanos up. Okay. <laughs> I um, push on top. Hey, this works. <laughs> Just pushing there. Um, Ranos, give me an acrobatics check. Oh, God. Yep, you stay on. Uh, you successfully uh, manage to maintain your footing on Johanna's hand. As, as a group, you push the door open. Hey, we could do it like a routine when we get back. <laughs> there you go. When uh, we get back. And you push open uh, this large door. Uh, opening up into a new area. Now, uh, please have done this correctly. Okay, whew, good. Now, one thing I will say is this is quite a large map. Uh, I'm going to drop you all on oh. now. If I, can, if I can find your character sheets, because I have so many things here. Whew, this is a large map. <laughs> yep. It's like 50 by 50 or something? This one is technically this. It's eighty by sixty. Jesus. Are we? Oh gosh. How's this not over the file limit? <laughs> Did uh, you split the map? I, I uh, no, see. it's uh, it's actually a decent resolution mm -hmm. as well. Oh. I created. Where it. should I put myself? Because I can't. So oh, there we are. oh god! It's all, all the way over there. There you are. <laughs> so, two things. One, welcome to the map. Two, dynamic lighting is a thing here. Three, advanced fog of war is disabled, so it will not trace your map for you. So you will a, this is a to make it more fun, but b it saves on memory and resource because I know this is a big map. 
Mm -hmm. So, yeah. If you want to make any connotations or any notes on the map, you can do. Um, in terms but we of, won't be able to see it. If you go back to it and come across it, you'll see it. Okay. But, I'll do my chalk marks then. But I will not be um, revealing the map as we go. Okay. Sounds cool. So, the behind you, just to your right, just here, that is the doorway you've entered. Kind of the, the uh, descend, you've got a little bit of a stairway that descends about 10 15 feet, not a lot, uh, before you end up at this position that you're stood in right now. Oh, so the door the door is to the right of us. The door is to the right of you. Well, the door is to the right of you, and there is um, lots of pink scribbles. Um, you said I could draw on it, so I know where I am. <sighs> You could draw inside the map area, inside the grey area. You can't draw in the white area um, because you can't see them. And it might get right, confusing um, later. Let's uh, get this door open. So you're all down. You're downstairs. You're inside the corridor. For all intents and purposes, you're inside the labyrinth. And assuming that yeah, I'm not using my thingies, but assuming that we've gone. I can I can remember a direction. Mm -hmm. Which way is it on this map? It's somewhere to the right of you. Somewhere to the right, okay. Somewhere, if we're doing a north-east-south-west map, you are looking that it is somewhere to... You would remember that it is somewhere to your east. Somewhere to my east, so this... Yeah. That doesn't help. That, that way. That's right. Ish. Cool. Now, as you kind of get into this dungeon, it is made of um, that deep dark stone. It is far less refined. It is very rough in places. It is worn. Um, it is dusty in places as well. There is almost a, a feel of damp in the in the corners as well. Um, potential of uh, symptom of being underground. You can also, there is, it's hard to, you kind of notice it and it takes you a little while to pin down. But while standing around, you're kind of in this corridor after you've descended into the into this area. You can almost f there's almost like a, a constant, ever-present hum to the air, like uh, like if you were stood next to a power plant or or a, a mm. large transformer or something. It's kind of like there's an energy to the air. There's a hum to the to the to your surroundings. There's an ever-present drone. Uh, doesn't appear to be affecting you in any but you're aware of its presence. Okay, unpleasant. Um, in terms um, of where Nira is, I will just... I'm not going to worry about moving Nira, because I'll just uh, just be... It's going to be an effort. I will just move her up whenever the uh, situation demands it. It's probably with Jojo anyway. Yeah, she generally kind of holds up the back rear, any, back middle anyway. Right, so, um... Check for traps first. I mean, is it dark? It is very dark. I when cast dark vision on myself. You can Nira see. use like light or something on her rocky? Nira can activate oh. rocky if you want. Yeah, Nira, she, maybe she, has, best. she has the best vision of all of us. Yeah, Nira does have 120 feet dark vision. Oh, oh right, because we're... Because she answered. died. Uh, <laughs> oh, she <laughs> died. She's a storm dragon. So, I think. Um, most of you can see. So with with Giovanni putting your dark vision on, you can now see as well as far as I'm aware. Yeah. Um, so uh, let me change your light to sixty feet, not twenty feet. There you go. Thank you. Okay. So the floor is yours, heroes. I peek around the the corner. Did we open the door already? Yeah. So you you've opened the door and you've gone downstairs and you're in this area now. So, oh, this uh, okay. So yes. the 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 big door is behind us. The big door is behind and above you a little bit. So the big door. Okay. Is oh, yeah, 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 okay. Back there. So there's the exit trench that way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Okay, so we want to go that. Yeah. So we're peeking. Um, out. I would like to, uh, peek on the door shut, from the inside. Since it opens into the labyrinth, we can remove it if we come back, but someone yeah. else might not be able to get in from the outside, or will have problems. You can wedge it in a little bit. You don't know how effective it will be, but you can wedge a few bitterns down in there without without. Damage. I have a hammer as well. Yeah, yeah. It's wait a minute. It's more like the size. The pitons aren't very big, and the, the door is not flush. There isn't a lot of room. But okay, yeah. Then, well, I could um, I could set a guard on the other side of the door. That would be 
even better, yes? You are full of surprises then. I, I do that on the other side of the door. It's it's not really that, but it is that. It's slightly sort of modified, so one of my spirits stays behind to watch the door. Nice. Uh, how long does it last him? for? Um, and let me read it. I've got it open here. Well, I'll put the spell. It's just the spell. Is it, if it's just that, then that's fine. So you yeah. have ten minutes there. Okay, but you—that is concentration. So if you do rage, I think you lose that. No, it's not concentration for me. Oh, it's not concentration. No. Okay. Because he's possessed. God damn, multiple <laughs> classes and subclasses and books and new content. <laughs> Carry on though. So Giovanni, yeah, poke your head on the It's not technically a spell for me. Okay. It's, uh, it's an ability. ability. Yeah, no, I understand. So, Giovanni, you poke your head around the uh, around. Feel free to do so. Um, if, in terms of vision and stuff, obviously we are there is the the lighting situation here. So, feel free to. Just talk okay, about. sorry. I'm. Where are we? Where did we come from? Okay, once, so once more. let me just put this bit. Uh, it's difficult because the way I've drawn it. That way? So right now, Ranoth, you're at the foot of a stairwell. Yeah. The stairwell goes that way. Yeah. Mhm. Mm and that goes up to the door. You've, you went through a door, you descended about 20 feet of stairs, and you're now in a corridor. Okay, so and we the have, um... locate object is in that direction. So you oh, get the idea, you're going to you're gonna have the... to loop back, loop back around yourself. Okay. But, I mean, when you move another like 10, 20 feet into the dungeon, it'll make a lot more sense. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, even if I forget myself, I will mark every corner we put. That's fine. It's up to you to mark it. Um, mm -hmm. So <laughs> I will leave it for you to mark. I will not be reminding you. Because it takes the okay, it's lab. just super annoying because every time I change tools, it goes back to brown. <laughs> well, mark it brown. Manos, how many colors of chalk it's do you have? It's the shittiest chalk ever. <laughs> Roy, um, Roy, Roy, you can just going to start moving up. I have, I have let me tell, five chalk. Could you do one the direction that we're going and then one that's the direction to where I felt the locate object. No. You're probably going to start to lose your bearings at the, uh, once you start getting into this place, unfortunately. Okay. I know it's that way. Even if I don't know where I am, I can... Yeah. Okay, it's all brown chalk, it is. <laughs> okay, so Rory, as you head forwards, uh, you can see the corridor seems to kind of curl back on itself and head in a certain direction. Where are we going now? Let's go. Okay, guys. I see nothing. I'm super vigilant. Use your badges, guys. Uh, he was just walking up. Okay. He's a dude. You carry on. Let's let's be a little bit. Are we going stealthy? Are we going stealthy? Yeah. It's up to you. I guys. would suggest. Um, I want to keep my ears pointed for any noise that is. Uh, yeah, I'll go out of the ordinary. In existence. Okay, go for it. Well, I guess all everything is out of the ordinary, so I'm yeah. just keeping vigilant. You're keeping it around. Okay, if you all want to roll your stealth checks, though. And do note, because you are moving stealthily, you are moving at half speed. It's, you mm -hmm. are moving slowly. Yes. Okay, good That's to know. Good. Nero rolls a okay. 20. Um, because... I roll up to this corner and I peek my head around. Okay, poke your head around and the corridor continues southwards and seems to open up into a larger room. Okay, I am going to turn around and keep on going. Okay. Can, can I see place. anything in this larger room? Yeah, it just seems to be an empty room. Uh, there's no... Can I, can I have a look to see if there's anything that looks out of place? Anything that looks like it could be a trap? Make me an investigation check with disadvantage for the lighting. I'm not great at investigation, by the way. <laughs> One. <laughs> you have a look around, it's and fine. you don't see any issues. Uh, <laughs> the room seems pretty bare. Uh, possibly some kind of a reception room or something, but you don't notice anything out of the ordinary. Oh. How about Sammy? with my amazing stone cutting ability, can I see if there's any stone out of place? Okay, make me an investigation check with disadvantage. Damn it. <laughs> you have a look. 
and the entire uh, entire thing is quite rough and um, it's not smooth stone. It's difficult to pr pull out anything in particular. Must be safe then. Yeah. We could detect either for the for. And Rory. <laughs> As you move forwards. You step on a pressure blade. Um, as you do so, you see these very small holes open up in a few walls. Just... And this um, dark green gas um, spreads out and very quickly fills this entire chamber. Everyone apart from Johanna, I need you to make me a constitution saving throw, please. Is this poison? It is poison, so you do have advantage. I'm so lucky I was just stuck. Con, con save. Okay, right. Thank God five, I have Rory, your advantage. Five. <laughs> okay. As, as Rory's fine, I'm guessing. Giovanni dies. <laughs> so, I think Nero wouldn't be ahead of me to say no. this, so Nero wouldn't be ahead of me. That's fine. So, Rory. Um, sorry. Uh, Giovanni and... Um, yeah, just Giovanni. You take 15 points of poison damage. The rest of you oh, take 7. I take three then. You take three because you're resistant to it as well. Yeah. As this... Uh, and I go on. scurry forward to get eight of it. Okay, the, the gas actually quite quickly uh, uh, dissipates. And now, as you take a look at around the room, you do see some small holes in the ceiling. And you do see as well... So uh, you gain two HP. <laughs> <laughs> as I whisper... And as you have a look around, Ranos, you catch this because of your ridiculous passive perception. You do see what appears to be some kind of um, a glass-like orb in one corner of the room. Which are uh, which? Uh... Just here. He's got security cameras. <laughs> That's what I was D&D <laughs> security cameras. Uh... An orb. Okay. I feel it zooming in on you. <laughs> Well, do I know what this uh, orb is? It just looks like a glass orb. Does it look anything like my scrying orb? Um, make me a perception check. It's quite high up. The ceilings in this place are quite high. They're about ten. They're about twelve to fifteen feet high. It's quite quite a tall area. Um, you have a look it up at it. It's hard to tell. It looks it looks similar. But it's hard to tell. I can totally. Ca I can cast detect magic. That's 30 feet, and if there's anything magic y. Oh, huh, it doesn't add my, my modifier. It I never did, guys. There's been an issue <sighs> with it, I think. Recently. Yeah, no, we had to work out the workaround for mine, because mine didn't. Uh, that was a long time ago, though. I say to a group, I go, I'm very sorry. Not my strong point. Maybe. You Ranos, you could just keep an eye out on the floor and the walls and everything. Just I gotcha, yeah. So that's six, Giovanni. Oh. I'm gonna cast detect magic in that in case there's any like magical glyphs or traps or magicy yeah, things. Sweet, okay. Things okay. which are magic. As you cast the spell, which I can that, detect. that orb does give you a divination magic sense. <laughs> No, how to find Div it. Divination magic. Hmm. Yes. So destroying it will be obvious. You don't but know. leaving it will also be. Mm. Reveal information. Okay. Yeah, I. I think it's a kind of either. How high up is it? Quite high. It's, um, the the floor, the ceiling is not even, uh, but for that one, I say it's about thirteen feet up. Should what? I? It's quite high Guys? up. Yeah. Yeah. How about yeah. is it is it in the wall or is it hanging slightly down? No, so it's kind of like embedded in the corner. Could we put something over it to cover it? Um, is it spray painted? Uh, be difficult. There aren't really na any natural ho uh, any hooks or anything like that that you could hang it on. Power and glue. <gasps> we could totally. But uh, I mean it. It don't but mechanically you can't spend like a, a drop can, of it, right? Unfortunately, you have to use the whole thing. It's right when you open it, you're my, and you're undoing the magical seal. It's it's gonna set. Yeah. Okay. 
Um, we could put like some cloth over it. That's what I was thinking, but it won't hold. I say we, we just like, need to keep on moving, guys. Underneath All right. it. So it's basically Cam, fast. I'm not shooting it then, yes? I said no, destroy let's it. let's leave it. I said destroy it. I think either way is going to be bad, so... That? Um, I'll... I'll g <laughs> guys, if you'll let me go in the front. <laughs> yep. I'll keep an eye out on the... Move quick, then. Fine. Uh, let me just mark this room. And the place where Nira is standing did blow up. Okay, um... Going slowly, keeping an eye out for... Okay. Sounds and sights and everything so, out of place. What I will say is, uh, if I say the word, if I just say hold, stop what you're doing. Hold. Uh, so, Ranos, as you move forwards, uh, you can see another large open room ahead of you. A corridor to your south, and also a corridor to your east. As you walk down the corridor, you can see the corridor. You can, as, sorry, as you walk down the corridor, you can see uh, this other entrance off to, uh, off to, technically to your left. And as you uh, begin to approach, uh, you hear you hear that hum once again, and the d a stone door. The wall lifts up out of the ground, sealing that tunnel. Mm -hmm. uh, Rory, with you at the back, you can hear the grind of stone upon stone somewhere behind you. Uh oh! Did I step on something? You didn't step on anything. Um, but that ever-present hum to the air is still present. Can someone go back and check if there's a door uh, or anything opening up? Yeah, I can go. We, we didn't, we went past the orb. So you Maybe. pop back, uh, Zin, and another corridor has opened up. Just okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bad. Run us, there's another corridor here. I'm fairly certain that wasn't there earlier. Uh, it's <laughs> right, right, I mean, right. it does lead east, and the other one is closed, yeah. so... The other one didn't open my back up, right? No, that one's shut. I guess uh, it's either a murder death trap, or... where we need to go. I mean, we want to go that way, that direction. Yes, yes. yes. That seems too obvious. Just go do it anyway. Let's do it. <laughs> Go. Get ahead of me, guys. Mm, go. Okay. Go so slow. It was nice knowing your. What can I see down the corridor, Nathan? Anything? Um, you can see uh, from where you are. You can see the corridor continues flat. You can almost see a small recess in the ground as well, where another part of this door has opened up. You get the idea that these doors may work. Um, there may be like sections of corridor that they either open or seal. Uh, you can see the corridor, there is a slight bend, uh, there's another corridor heading south, and ahead of that is just darkness. Let's hope they're not on a timer. But maybe, let's hope, I don't know. Should we go? I'll check for trouble. Yeah, let's go. Let's Make go. me investigation run us with disadvantage. Disadvantage? It's dark down here. Yeah, with all disadvantage. Everything's a disadvantage when you have no light. Seeing wise, eighteen. 18. You have a look around. You don't see any traps. It, you can, and you only can just see the groove in the floor where the where the wall once was. Uh, you can see uh, as you move forward. You can see the uh, pair of corridors. We should stick close together together in case these walls come back up. We don't want to get split in here. That would be yeah, terrible. Everyone, mm -hmm. everyone stay with us. Yeah. Rory, yeah, Hannah. <laughs> hint, hint. Sorry. We're trying. So where would you like to go? Any sound that's more obvious than another? Or just... Um, nope. Well, let's I guess go. we go east. Yeah. While we still have our bearing. Yep, yeah, let's go. Okay. Check the traps, check the traps. That's yes, fine. As you move forward, you come into another T junction, and Johanna, about to keep oh. up. And as you get to that T junction, you see appearing round the corner a large bovine creature, 
No. As it's a, a pig, it's a huge pair of piercing red eyes stares back. Are at we? You. We're still stealthing. You are still stealthing, indeed. Uh, as this minotaur you to notice this? has, I mean, you're right ahead of it. As okay. this minotaur um, turns around the corner and it looks right at you, Zin. And you hear a snort as the. I'm as still a devil, right? You're. You are. I never changed it back. You are, but you're also <laughs> surrounded by weapon wielding slaves. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, there? The devil. Vin's just gonna, as, Vin's gonna look it in the eye. And you stare <laughs> just like, bend, ready. Okay, the Minotaur <laughs> puts his axe on its back. I'd like you all. If it charges me, I'd like to charge it. I'd like you all to roll me some initiative, please. Hello, uh, I was wondering if you could tell us maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, not this time. Yeah, I've my initiative. Why I'm in the front row? Uh... <laughs> Yeah, it's still with 15, that's fine. There we go. I've got so many things in this um, uh, game now, it's time to lose track. Um, okay. Give a shit do you want shit. us to take over Nira? I can do it if needs be. Yeah, sure. Um, it's uh, just Firebolt, Firebolt. Pretty Use much. Um, miss, miss, miss one damage. Uh, I, I'm the, the shield. Yeah. Right, miss and shield. Um, there you go. Uh, you That's have a t-shirt. To the shield. <laughs> yeah, um, cool. Uh, I'm all, I've added one to the mission tracker. Wow. Okay, so um, top of the round, you watch as this uh, minotaur-like creature creeps around the corner, locking eyes with Zin. Giovanni, you react. You uh, lightning faster reaction, still tense and. Um, aware from the poison that recently assaulted you, what do you want to do? Uh, does it look? Is it big? It's yeah, it's big. And you've you I mean you've encountered minotaurs before? Minotaurs are big. They're evil. They're angry. But something seems different about this one. Um, it's like it's almost like it's dark black fur. Almost seems to ooze an oily secretion. And it kind of gives it a sheen, a shine. Um, its horns, it's got a, his horns almost glow with a, with a soft firelight at the tips. Uh, it's a healthy minotaur. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you want to uh, do? I'm going to. <laughs> I don't. I'm, I'm not going... sorry. <laughs> I'll cast polymorph and turn it into a snail. <laughs> okay, have we got a constitution saving throw? I think... wisdom. Is it wisdom? Yeah. I... Nathan's like, damn it, I have my constitution. I don't have a very wisdom. wise minotaur, unfortunately. 21, though. Oh, oh damn. They, they're they're meant to be wise, that's why they're able to remember the labyrinth. So it's you cast Polymorph memory. and uh, and it has... It He's has, super wise. Yeah. I mean, I've got a, after what you did to fucking Zarabok, everything gets a little bit stronger. Um, <laughs> so Who's Zarabok? He was the the big bone devil that tried to trick you and you took oh, him in two yeah. rounds. The one who didn't like us being us and we were probably going to take him up on his deal anyway. Yeah, but unfortunately, um, ba balancing stuff at this level is difficult. Um, but anyway. Uh, you cast your spell and the creature just shrugs it off. You see his, his form contorts very slightly before uh, it's almost getting bigger. I step back <laughs> here. <laughs> and that's my turn. Okay, Johanna, you're up. Cool, I can't see, so I'm going to spot my um, I don't know how many feet that was. That was about, uh, I think you were, that's 15 five, feet. 10, 15, um, it's, it's, which way is it? Just there. Oh, I can see. Why am I dumb? Um, okay. I mean, I've don't, been don't. asking myself that question about this group for some time. I'm going to look at Zin, and Zin is obviously prepared to charge. Oh, yeah, Zin's ready. Zin has assumed the position. <laughs> I am going to be like the asshole who charges past him and steals first charge. <laughs> Just because I can. Okay. 
you have the movement? Still... I do not have the movement. You can move up to there. <laughs> I, I think okay, I think I'm about to. And I'm gonna change my mind. I'm gonna, like, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead of him. Go, nope. <laughs> I'm going to make him psych you and make him think I'm about to charge. Okay. And then I'm going to throw a sacred flame at it because why not? Okay. Um, not very good at dodging fire apparently as it takes um, 12 points of radiant damage. Not bad. As this column of um, divine fire strikes the Minotaur on the head. Seems unfazed. It's just locked eyes with you, Zin. Okay. Zin, you're up. Zin's going to... Uh... Bull charge it. Like, okay, okay. I'm literally just gonna like try and slam into it. Okay, are you raging first? I am raging first. Okay. Yes. I thought you might. Reckless I'm gonna try and charge. I, I'm gonna try and like yeah, come up and like try and knock him off his feet and knock him prone. Okay. Oh. Okay. Go for it. Make me an athletics check, please. Uh, as I'm raging, I get advantage. advantage. On that. <laughs> 29 to oh. beat. <laughs> oh, I know. He doesn't have advantage. No, that's mine. Just have advantage. Oh, oh okay. okay. Well, I got 22. 22. Not bad as you run forward and you shoulder check this Minotaur and knocking him to the ground as he's just almost in shock as he drops mm -hmm. to the ground. <laughs> and he's as currently prone. All the prone. ranged people are like, shit. shit. <laughs> as he's now prone. That is, was one attack. Yeah, and then I'll, then I'll attack him with my second. Go for it. You have advantage? And I'll get advantage because he's prone. <laughs> That'll hit. Thought it might. 19 points of piercing damage. Not bad as you bring down the Brotherhood sword and, sh and um, pierce him in the chest. He roars at you with fury. Um, but still, uh, as he lies there. Uh, anything else? <laughs> no. Okay, Rory, your little legs. It's your turn. My little legs can only bring me so far. <laughs> um, <laughs> fuck. Um, I am going to move my 35 feet. And I think you pretty much screwed me in this situation. Uh, I am going to... You look cool. Uh, I am going to activate my right. I am going to do cold damage. Okay. So it takes 10 points of damage. Oh, sorry, one sec. I need to take away yeah, my Yeah, don't take health. all of that health away. Take my health away. Okay. Um, <laughs> And then I am going to spooky handed doom him. Go for it. Make your attack with disadvantage. That one does miss, unfortunately. Uh, yep, yeah, that's my turn. Okay. Oops, I skipped too far. Uh, but Mr. Minotaur is going to use half of his movement to get back up. And he's going to draw that great axe from his back. It's still well worth knocking him down. Oh, yeah. Just full charging a Minotaur is amazing. He's going to go ahead and make his first strike against you, which misses horribly. And make his second strike. Uh, 18 to hit. Uh, that will... I think it just hits, yeah. Yeah, yeah hits. Okay. Cutting words. Oh, it has disadvantage? <sighs> it, yeah, oh, it, does. it does with 18. Yeah, it's still 18. Yeah, yeah. It's still 18. Oh, okay. Are you cutting words in the attack? Ranos? Or yeah. Damn it. I can. I never remember how cutting words works. You can, you do, can both, do both. You either. I'm, I'm, do, I'm doing uh, the attack. Uh, but look at that 23 points of damage I would have done to him. Uh, you mean that 13 <laughs> points of damage? Do you mean that 13 points of damage? Yeah, hard. I know. I do, come on, <laughs> just give me something here. Um, uh, d10, d10. Yes, yeah, so it doesn't make a difference as long as you roll a one. Yeah. Um, it, it, it fails. So, uh, what do you shout with your cutting words? Uh, I have I, I had a bigger schnitzel than takes than you. Uh, <laughs> it just looks at you confused. Um, um, and that is his turn. Okay, um, Ranos, your turn. I feel that's costing one of your bardic inspiration as well. I think. Yes, it does. Oh, I should have done this. 
I will uh, viciously mock him. Uh, you're the super smallest stake ever. 17, <laughs> yeah, I think that succeeds. Uh, just. Yeah. Doesn't seem to be uh, listening to you, he's still focused on Zen. Hmm. Okay, um, Nira. I'll take a bit of cover over here. Okay. Uh, Half peering around the corner, maybe? Yeah, Nira does not like being at the back, so she's going to move up beside Jojo. And she's going to just firebolt. Go for it. That, that hits. Beats so it. close, sir. Beats Wait, its 15 AC. Um, yeah. uh, 13 points of fire damage as the bolt um, strikes in and almost ignites that oily uh, slickness upon its fur. Okay. Seems um, to be effective. I was wondering if she has quicken spell, but she doesn't. Never mind. Alright. I'm good. Okay. Geo, you're up. Yeah, I'm gonna step forth towards to here. Well, here. And then I'm gonna spooky hand of doom. Go for it. That hits for awesome damage. Yeah. Six points of necrotic damage is yeah. tickle, him, gonna tickle him into the him. chin. Yeah. Okay, uh, Jojo, you're up. Well, I'm getting ahead of all the squishies. Okay. So I can try and block it if it decides to get. If something happens. And okay. I'm gonna uh, cast, because what, what have I got? Long range. I literally have. Sacred Flame. What? Sacred Flame, that's it. I, I haven't packed any other long range attack. The life of a cleric. <laughs> <laughs> I was playing a cleric. I only got level five. Never again. It's just how much work. Um, so sacred flame. Uh, unfortunately, it makes the save. It probably because it's prone on the ground. It's, it got back up. Because uh, if it was prone, it would have had disadvantage. But it got back up, unfortunately. Mm. All right. Well, at least um, I'm within rushing and hitting distance now as well. I think. All right, Zin, you're up. Okay, Zin is. As Jojo hung back, I'm going to stay where I am. Yep. And I'm just going to take my double swings. Awesome. You draw your d4 as well. I did, I did that. Oh, you did, yeah, you did sorry. It's literally right in front of me. Yeah. <laughs> and that reactivates your, dis your cloak as well at the end of your turn, if I remember correctly. It does, yes. Good to know. Okay. okay. Both do hit, roll some damage. 15. As you deal 35 points of damage, as you slash away at the Minotaur, um, darkening its fur with the deep crimson. Okay, Rory, you're up. Okay. Uh, he pulls out Mardwin. I who is currently... We're deaf now. He's very, very cold right now. Uh, as I am going to let's see, uh, green flame blade, and this is going to do about like four different types of damage. Okay. Um, before you make your attack, make me a wisdom saving throw. Cool. I'm actually not bad at this. As I get a two. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm okay. As you go to swing, you feel Modwin resisting you. Um, you can tell that she's not pleased. Um, because she's been cooped up in a bag for a while. Uh, but she resists you, but you put her in her place and you swing. So you do hit yeah. with the 19. So just roll all of your damage and I'll, I'll toss it up at the end. Okay. So The damage type doesn't make a difference in this case. Okay, so... 28. Uh, 28 and then... Your right damage as well. Uh, two, that mm -hmm. includes right. Okay. But also two points of psychic damage. Two points damage. of psychic damage from Modwin, yes, that's it. Okay, as All you right. swing out with your screaming sword that does make a lot of sound and echoes throughout the the entire labyrinth, as you can hear um, dwarven curse words ringing out, um, <laughs> which are soon sated as soon as the monitor is struck. Be, be quiet, be quiet! And then I, what I stopped at once, I go, look, look, we're killing things! As uh, bonus action, I can... Stick it in the monitor so it muffles the sound! <laughs> <laughs> Stick it in the mind as well. That's not something I've got okay tonight. 
that uh, misses. 14 misses. Yeah. Okay. Uh, is that your turn done? Yep, that's me. Okay. Uh, faced with um, multiple foes, um, uh, the Minotaur is going to uh, wielding its uh, there. with its great axe in one hand uh, pulls back and you can kind of see uh, around its throat a fiery uh, glow begins to burn as it re uh, retches out and bursts a cone of flame engulfing both you and Rory's in. Um, and okay. you can both to make deck me save. deck saving throws. Okay, advantage. Uh, you do. You take. Uh, you still <laughs> fail, and you take 27 <laughs> points of fire damage. Rory, it's your turn. You succeed, and you take half of that, right. so um, 13 points of fire damage. That was literally the worst deck save ever. Uh, you rolled an 8. You rolled an 8 and a 9, they're not that bad. Um, okay. Um, okay. Um, that's its turn. Ranos, you're up. Uh, it's not a person, right? It doesn't count as a humanoid. Mm. Technically, this one's a devil. Oh, yeah, okay. Mm, I got nothing, so. Uh, I will use Vicious Mockery again. <laughs> what do you call a cow with no legs? Ground beef! <laughs> oh, that was terrible. Uh, as you deal, uh, if you roll roll damage for Oh yeah, I, need, I always forget that I need to roll for this. Now. You always forget it does any damage. Um, eight points of psychic damage, not bad. It's the best you can do. <laughs> wow. Okay, um, if that's you done, Nira, you're up. I want to have a look in the corridor to the south, south, see if there's anything creeping up. Okay, maybe a perception check, and I'll get back to you in a second. Sure, sure, sure. Oh, Nira is good then, Nira, and just fireballs it, because this it. seems like Zinn and Rory have it. Go for it. That'll hit, roll me some damage. Nine, oh, 11. I mistook the damage, the roll for the damage. As you deal 11 <laughs> points of fire damage as the Minotaur is struck with his ball of flame. It's looking a bit desperate now. Um, Ranos, as you take a look down the south corridor, it seems to open up into a, another corridor. No creepy and crawlies. You don't see anything. Good. Giovanni, you're up. <laughs> so we don't see anything southward. Looking southwards, it just seems like a corridor heads down to the south, uh, and then opens up into another room. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm just gonna keep on tickling it. Okay. That hits. Cool. Dear good, dear cool. 11 points from necrotic damage, you're whittling it away. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, Guarantee it's going to be a spooky hand of doom that kills it. <laughs> <laughs> like, three points of the quarter damage. How do you do this? <laughs> okay. Um, Jojo. Go right for the eyes. So, yeah, she just sent me an itemized list of how much of a bitch I am, so. It disappeared. <laughs> so, yeah, it's not great. Take your frustrations out on the mine at all. Um. Fails as you do nine points of radiant damage. I want to say the the damage proportions here are ridiculous. You've got two people doing like thirty to forty points of damage, <laughs> and everyone else is like seven. Because I I'm, I'm, I can't get to it's it. Like, we we <laughs> don't have to expend anything to do it. There it is, like fucking cantrips all day. <laughs> I know. Um, I mean, it sounds like a stuff. cantrip, right? Yeah, um, it's, it is at will. Um, okay, uh, Zin, you're up. Uh, I'm gonna do Zin. <laughs> they haven't got advantage, sorry, I wasn't like this. No advantage, okay. <laughs> Jojo, okay? Yeah, uh, she's a bit upset, unfortunately. Um, Ooh, okay. Um, they both hit, um, 36 points of damage, I think. That looks yep. alright. Okay, um, as you swing both of your wooden swords at um, the Minotaur, um, how do you want to do this? So, what, what's it wearing, like on its lower half? 
like a loin cloth. Is that it? Yeah. They, they're I'm not go. known for their fashion sense. <laughs> I'm going to go, runner speaks true, and just chop it off. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, with my first strike, and then as it looks down at it, I'm going to, with my second, I'm just going to like, stab it through the, through the bottom of its chin. Okay, as you swing, um, <laughs> swing one sword, <laughs> lopping the loincloth off, uh, as it looks down and goes to cover itself, out of shame <laughs> and embarrassment, kind of punches down. As you do, you drive the sword up, and it pops out the top of its head like a third horn. And it's like, <laughs> Uh, it look, gives you a look like, really? And then dies. <laughs> I'm going to stab it with Modwin a couple of times. <laughs> Modwin <laughs> almost... get some blood on it. Modwin almost cackles happily as you do so. Rings out, but then she falls silent after uh, apparently being sated. But you can feel in your head that she's not happy with you. <sighs> it's right, a girl or a boy? It is a girl. I'm just oh, not really doing was... girly voices, I'm sorry. Oh, so uh, because I thought it was Sir Modwin. No. Uh, nope. Just Modwin. Okay. Uh, well, I um, think Sir... I, I, so, pl someone please correct me, but I'm using Sir as an androgynous term. Um, anyway. You've slain them. Uh, the monitor is dead. Can we... Should we maybe put Modwin back in the bag? Sorry, Modwin, no. but... No! You're not you're, putting me back in the fucking no, bag! No. Modwin, Modwin. We're on a mission here. We're on a mission, we need to be quiet. I promise we're going to kill multiple things now. You said that before, that you be put quiet. me in a fucking bag. That was not my <laughs> decision. It was like... You were quite glassy-eyed that day. Mm. I, I'm not I'm not the smart one, group. I just killed it. Well, well... Yeah. See, you stuck it into that demon, so uh, what, do you, what more could you probably want? <sighs> Except Very more well demon killing. For now. Alright, should we go Don't look and see what bag. we can find? I won't, okay. I promise. Okay. Uh, we're we'll around the corner and uh, see what he can see. Before you go any further, uh, yes. you do hear, again, the grinding of stone on stone, and as you look behind you, no. that door has shut. Was this hmm. corridor there before? That corridor was always there. You went straight past okay. it. Um, I go back and mark the floor where the door's supposed to be. Wait, which door did he came closed? The one the we one came we... in through this. Oh, okay. From the trap corridor. Uh, Rory okay. would turn around the corner uh, to where the monitor came from. Does, does the monitor also disappear? The monitor does burn up, yes, leaving the same uh. scorch mark on the ground. Mm. Okay, Rory, as you turn around the corner, um, you find a dead end. Balls. Nothing I'm not. Um, make me an investigation check. I'm so good at those. With disadvantage. A zero. You find a dead end. Good. Nothing there there. Mark the floor. Okay, nothing there. Then let's go south here. I like how you've matched with the dead end, so I can like change. <laughs> so you see another uh, as you head down this corridor. You can see another um, larger deathly? room. Sorry. Deathly. Uh, deathly corridor. Yes. Stealthily. Uh, stealthily, sorry. sorry. Uh, okay, I'm assuming you're all stealthily at this point. Yeah. Okay. As you uh, investigation. Okay, that's fine. Roll me we'll, we'll your trap check. Then. Okay. Uh, <laughs> as you get in, you as you kind of uh. looking around and looking in this room, you do see another pressure plate um, just here, and you also see another one of those orbs in the corner here. Uh. Okay. And as you enter the room, we're going to take a break. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to take we're going to take five minutes now, uh, so we can grab drinks, do whatever, um, and then um, we will return. So back momentarily, and there's not much more I can say. Back in a minute. <laughs> cool. Renas, do you want to mark the traps?
Oh, it's gone. Johanna, you alright? Natasha. No. She sent me, she sent me a very, like, I've got advice just to be pleasant and not the same. I know I've already emailed about how much she's hurt me. She sent another one. She sent one to me. My landlady is a bitch. Oh, nice. And she, are, you in, are you in London now? I noticed, yeah. I was, I was, I've been feeling uncomfortable here for a while. And after an incident this morning, I was going to go and give her my notice because I've been planning on doing it for a while anyway, but trying to put it off because I can't to get better. And then, but I was going to give her a nice one so it would all be polite. And then she sent me one, gave me my notice. She, I live with her, she's my living landlady. And then she just sent me an email about basically how terrible I've been and everything I do wrong. I wouldn't worry about it. How, sometimes I'm cheerful, sometimes I'm cheerful, and sometimes I'm moody about it, and I'm always angry. Anyone who knows me knows that I, as Tasha, I don't get angry. Ever. It's just not part of my make. Dad's and I get disappointed, but I don't get angry. And some yeah. things where I'm also shut off or cold with her, it's also because I'm, I, I'm a little bit scared about telling her some of the things which are more private to me because I don't know I don't know her. I don't know who she really is as a person. I think she's fake. So I don't know how she reacts. So why am I gonna have a soulful deep conversation with her? I don't know, I'm just stressed and I'm sad right now and I just want to kill things. Yeah, fair enough. I don't know where to go. It says three weeks, I've got four weeks left of my rent because my rent payment is due now. I don't know why she says three, like she's been offering me more time, like she's being super benevolent. I mean, the thing is, and, and I hate to say this, but working in London and living outside of London, people in London tend to have a certain way when it comes to money. I don't know, I'm from De I'm like Lower Devon. I thought you, yeah, but you're in London now though, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, but I'm from Lower Devon, this is not a thing. Yeah. Yeah, the thing is, like, people in London are a bit... And I hate to stereotype people, but I just think because it is so expensive there and everything, that's she's how they get. Also, she just, I don't, she, she's not British. She's lived in England for most of her life, but she's gone in and she's, her spiritual home is France. And I she just, I'm not sure if she understands English people, like her last, her current tenant is someone from Latin America, who is, he's great, the one that was my previous co-tenant was Irish, but I'm not sure she understands how reserved British English people are, with people they're not super, super comfy with. Yeah. Yeah, maybe she just doesn't get you. Yeah. I wouldn't worry about it. It'll be fine. And again, one of the great things about living in London is there is lots of places to live in London. Yeah. I just need to find somewhere to live. I don't have time to look for somewhere to live. I need to finish a dissertation. And I work a fond. What about... No, I, it's not okay to carry on. I haven't even left. Sorry, I need to make a cup of tea. I'm not doing anything as human beings. So. Okay. so. What's going on? I think she's had a, had, uh, had a issue with a landlady or something. Yeah. Uh, being mm, moved from Terrible, the okay. Um, yeah. Anyway, yeah, we were just talking about it. I don't think she's, um, she's just gone to go make a cup of tea. She said if we start again, just assume that she's following. Yeah, no problems. Okay, that's no, fine. We, we're still waiting for, uh, Danny, are you here? Yep, I'm here. Awesome. I was going to say, by the way, Ranos, do you want to mark where that trap was? I was, I'm just over the free end tool. I think it was... Here, it's in the middle somewhere. I'm not going to say very specifically. No, you marked it accidentally three feet to the right. Right. <laughs> you I I you mark it. it. Uh, go, right. Going go, go full. Go go a bit uh, a bit landing there. 
Um, anyway. <laughs> Going a bit London town, yeah? Yeah. <sighs> okay. Um, we're waiting for Jacob anyway. It's fine. Um, <sighs> Is Charles actually around, by the way? I think he's there. He's he's it's more of he's keeping an eye on or what like he's probably got us on in the background or something. No, I'm here. Oh, okay. The, the Hi, dis, Charles. The distant whisper from the grave. On the grave. <laughs> I'll take I haven't speak to you. Charles, you're, you're back. <laughs> nice I hope you. It's good, by the way, dude. No, I'm just lurking. <laughs> the lurker, the unseen, unheard lurker. Well, after all, there's not a great deal for me to interact with, so I'm, I'm mostly listening so that when something comes up in the future, I have some idea what the fuck's going on. <laughs> yeah, trying trying to summarise, like, three three sessions in, like, a five-minute walk past the desk on the way to the bog is not easy. Um, <laughs> so, uh, it's easier. Um, I hope, um, is everything all right, right mate? Hmm? Say again. Is everything all right now, Charles? Have you managed to get everything sorted after what happened? Um, I'm still working. Uh, I, the insurance claim hasn't gone in yet. Um, the locks have all been changed. I'm getting the locks of my car changed in a, in a fortnight. Uh, I've still got to get the windows that they broke into fixed because oh. they've actually cracked the frame. Oh. So the entire frame's got to be replaced. Did, you, did, did, yeah. did they steal your car keys? Yeah, they stole the car keys. They didn't steal the car. What? They now have fully working keys to my car. Yeah, okay. Okay, I say don't change the locks on your car and booby trap it instead. <laughs> <laughs> that's the, the Dutch master speaking here. <laughs> oh, shit, yeah. Kind of... Yeah, if you don't, I was, was going to say something really racist to Danny, but then I was like, no. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I probably wouldn't do that. Um... Uh, yeah, if he doesn't turn on the right way, he just got ejected from the car. <laughs> <laughs> you got to turn the lock uh, counterclockwise three times, clockwise once, back counterclockwise again, and if not, you get punched in the face with a boxing glove. Um, and then ejected. Well... Not to stereotype whoever did it, because to be honest, there is no real evidence as to who they were. But they did. Their mix of things they've stolen is odd. <laughs> like, uh, all, just all stole my food the Guinness. Drink. It's weird. And they stole my food. Uh, all my food from my fridge, my freezer. They stole a whole lot of drink. They stole two out of three saddles. <laughs> Bike saddles. No, horse, horse saddles. saddles. Oh, you have horse saddles. Hmm. Yeah. That's. Uh, they Were stole they a most expensive lamp. <laughs> um, and they a box full of cheap ass geeky jewelry, like it's made out of pewter, brass, and steel. <laughs> uh, the most expensive okay. item in there was 15 quid. <laughs> they didn't do very well. Well, it sounds like a crackhead horse. Fan. Yeah, I mean, they, they did the... steal my kitchen scales. <laughs> but that was to weigh out how much food they stole. Which they stole. Or maybe it's like to weigh out how much food they stole. Obviously. <laughs> yeah, I think it's more of a case of it's like you know those like ho uh, home renovation shows. Uh, they do that, but uh, instead they steal your food and bring it back in like a feast or something. So in about three <laughs> weeks' time, you're going to receive a massive roast dinner through the through the post. It's going to be really net off because they didn't plan very well. Uh, and lots of Guinness, by the sounds of it. And lots of Guinness. <laughs> Maybe it's yeah. like a <laughs> hazing thing, a dare, because it's, it's, it's so random. really random. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean they, it could have been worse, right? It could have been worse, like they didn't steal my computer or my laptop. Yeah. I mean, Which my laptop, to be no honest, if they knew anything about laptops like that, I can understand. <laughs> <laughs> because it's a pile of crap. Maybe they're, maybe they're secretly geniuses. But, but yeah. uh, to be honest, I think the, they were very confused by the technology because they're obviously scared by the webcam because they, they, they knocked that off, but then <laughs> didn't hear any of the rest of it. Um, and they they tried to steal my television and got confused by the mass of wires and <laughs> cut them. Wow. Why? Oh man, that's that's almost worse. That's like taking the piss. It's like if I can't have it, you can't have it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They. they 
I think it's partly because they got frustrated because there was a big everything on. There's a lot of cables, so when they tried they to move anything, there was like, oh no, it's mostly like things like USB, HDMI, network, oh, yeah. things like that. So the moment they try and move anything, it like pulls half a dozen <laughs> other things. Uh, I feel now uh, uh, bad validated bad. in my bad cabling. <laughs> there you go. It's a, it's a, it's not bad cabling. It's a security measure. Yeah, next time you walk in, there's just a dead guy hanging in there <coughs> by his neck. It's like a <laughs> Died spider. in the wire. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, um, um, I am going to say let's move forwards, because otherwise we could, we could sit here talk, talking about a, uh, stuff like this for ages. But for now, we'll, we'll carry on with the session. We have a heist of on. Let's cut all the cables to the um, uh, scrying on. Exactly. It's um, <laughs> definitely what we need to do here. Okay, so, uh, bringing us back in. As you guys, we shoot the going on. <laughs> as you come in to this room, you can see a a single corridor heading southwards. Uh, the trapped um, pressure plate, and also one uh, another one of these hiccups, um, scrying orbs things in the corner. Tin's gonna lead over to run us and go shoot it really quietly in his ear. <laughs> Ranos, do you think you're conscious and conscious has gained voice? Yeah. Um, no, I'm not gonna do it. I, I'm too much of a sissy. Um, the sound <laughs> we heard... Finn's gonna throw a dagger at it. <laughs> Shatters. <laughs> the dagger falls to the ground with shards of glass. Um, I'm gonna walk over and pick it up, avoiding the trap. Okay. <laughs> Go on, Ranos. And, and the sound, uh, the thrum. Did it, it, did it uh, power up, so to say, so to speak, while the doors were closing? Um, hard to tell. It's almost like it's just an ever-present... Okay. So is there no, no source we could it's, pinpoint it's, at some point? It's kind of all around you. Um, yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> Droning is really annoying. Uh, it's just... It's, it's very low. It's hard... It's, you, I mean, you hardly even know it's there. Um... But okay. yeah, it's still there. Right. I look over to the orb. Lex is in. All right. This Guess the shattered that's that. orb. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep moving. I mean, we're cut off from. Mm, well, we're coming from anyway, so we might as well keep moving forward. Yeah. And this seems seems to curve in on it. It's hard to tell. The 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 other one we the dead end we just encountered. You think so? In, this is, probably, this is entirely maybe entirely within your own, your own mind. Okay. Well, we do have a map, so. You you do. This is to give you an idea. It's a it's a mix. Yeah. I'm assuming it's not that much of a distance. No. Uh, check for traps in the next that's, room, of course. That's fine. I'm assuming you're checking as you go. Mm -hmm. Stay together, people, in case there's another door. You all scoot together, and you can see a another room opens up. This one's kind of got like an L shape to it. Um, you have a look around; you do not spot any traps. Uh, you can see okay. to the bottom right there is another corridor that kind of loops around to the east. Um, Zin, as you enter the room and walk through the room, nothing happens. <laughs> Ranos, Is there a secret as door you here? walk through the room, oh, I've got to Ano another door begins to open up. There's another corridor. I can't do that. That went horribly. Uh, st stone on stone. It's out. fine. Uh, it's it's a hydraulic door. Um, as another as a door behind you opens up, revealing another corridor. Uh, however, the one here remains open as well. Do we hear floor. any noise coming from behind us at all? Uh, give me a perception check. <laughs> Not I love the little bits of it. You, have a, you uh, have a listen, you don't hear anything. Just that ever present. So if these. And the sorry, here were... uh, there is another shrying orb in here in this corner. Uh, I'm gonna destroy it with a dagger. Okay. Shatters. I didn't retrieve the dagger. Okay. Should we go to the thing that just opened, or I mean, 
I, I say we keep going this way. I have a feeling it's east. But if they're really clever, maybe they you have to snake around to the other part and then come back the other way around. But then maybe the cleverness comes from the doors that keep opening and closing. What? The enemy's doors. Hmm. Like, that door's well, just open, so maybe they're trying to lead us that way. Yeah, I'm with I mean, there is this orb here, so... There was but that then, there. But then we're already in their... ...control since we didn't destroy the first one and went <laughs> straight for the door, you know? Like, good little sheep. Uh, let's keep Trip. going this way, then. But they'll never know if we go back now. If yeah. Let's, let's go east. Okay, so you, you continue to head east. Maybe an investigation check because you check for traps. I think we're missing. It's okay, I keep moving around. Yeah. I'm moving nearer my way just because yeah. I'm able to now. That's fine. So, Randall, we're so moving you... as a double. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you have a look around in this room, and it seems to be a much larger room this time. Um, you have a look around, you don't notice anything. Hmm. Seems fine. Any orbs uh, in the corners? Uh, there is. There's one over in this far corner here. Zin's gonna walk along the wall. So Wait. Wait. Yeah, just there. I mean, I'm gonna try and out of I say in the. I said five. Wait five times. Do you heed the wait? Uh, because <laughs> in the Discord, do you heed the wait? I do heed the wait. Yes. Okay. I say through the badge. Maybe if they try to mislead us and open up. Ways. We should let them open up pathways and then ignore them and then destroy the thing. Okay. Wanna keep going that way? <laughs> keep going east. <laughs> so, Ranos, as you stand they, in a trap, <laughs> uh, move you back just there. <laughs> Probably. Okay, let's have to check something. Uh, Can I hear any sounds of doors grinding? Uh, no, but as you walk through the room, um, the rest of you note just just too late as this large tentacled creature drops down from the ceiling right next to Ranos and makes an attack against you. Oh fuck. At least it's not an owlbear. <laughs> There's 16 hit. It makes it more uh, it, it do! Okay. Cutting words! Unfortunately it's a surprise. So that's Don't I get a reaction? Not in the surprise round. Really? Okay. Okay, as this... No, I as this, as you said, I noticed it. Um, it's, I'm going to say because technically it's a surprise round, I, it's more flavour that you will see it drop down. <laughs> um, so it's a surprise round for the creature. As it drops down on you, Ranos, and a, a suckered tentacle wraps around you and digs into your chest as you feel the blood is being drained ah. from you. As this, like, almost this very small floating ball like creature drops down from the ceiling and uh, at uh, attacks. I'd like you all once again to roll me some initiative. Uh, You're also, and Ranos, as the tentacle wraps around you, you take 14 points of piercing damage and are restrained. Ow! I need to pick up a book because I've not written down something. It's like uh, disadvantage on attacks, advantage on attacks against you. I'll check it about the creature stats. But thank okay. you. Death kiss! Do -do -do -do. Do -do 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 -do. What's, a, what's a death kiss? I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> I only know the name, to be honest. So. Yeah. What's a death kiss? A tentacly uh, floaty orb of doom. So as soon as this creature drops down, the rest of you, you rec <sighs> almost recognize it. It looks very similar to the, uh, the death tyrant that you fought once, and almost has a very similar token, and a really bad initiative roll. Uh, <laughs> Where's wow. the mind? So happy. I mean, <laughs> not a single one of us has made a good initiative roll. No, I mean, no one's, I don't think anyone rolled above a 10 at your natural rolls, which is pretty, pretty impressive. As the creature drops down uh, from the ceiling, and I think that is... Oh, I missed an attack. Uh, that's what I missed. One more tentacle attack. Uh, as you take an additional 14 points of piercing damage. Can I try to 
which it's, is it's, still, it's still in the same right. It's still in the same right. Okay, so okay. I, I haven't done the multi-attack correctly. Yeah, that's... Um, that's, that's why I needed to check the book. 14. Well, that ain't looking good. Okay, as this creature drops down and wraps around Ranos, as it begins to uh, viciously drain, uh, drain the life essence from him. Um, top of the round, Nero actually. I don't think I've ever said that before. I think it should be me. Sorry. <laughs> this is why I've never said it before. Um, okay, let's have a look. So it's wrapped tentacles around him, yeah? So it's kind of this large, it's quite this, this quite a big floating eye type thing. Um, that has wrapped itself around Zin. I don't think I should... Oh, I don't think I actually have a bestiary entry for you. I'll just check. I don't, actually. I'll get you on. But yeah, no, it's wrapped around... It has currently grappled around Zin. Nearby. Oh, yes. Sorry. Oh, it looks kind of cute, actually. <laughs> can, can I try I know, and... They look, they, they're, they're, they're not bad. Um, I'm obviously going to rage again. Of course. Um, can I try and cut off the tentacles that are holding Ranos? You can try. It has we'll like, as you get kind of a look at it, as like this creature has about ten tentacles, but two of them are currently wrapped around Rannis. So I'm gonna like aim to try and cut them off. Yeah, go for it. Reckless. I didn't wreck this now. Uh, I can't see anything. Okay, they both hit to roll damage. Uh, uh, okay, yeah. So roll me some damage. There you go. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, 30, 46 points of damage. 46, yeah. Not bad. You swing around and you try and slash at these tentacles, uh, but they are small, they're fragile. But they're stronger than they look. And you un you are unable to slice slice them off, unfortunately. Okay. But you definitely deal some damage. Yeah. Cool. And just to set you up. Uh, so, Nira. It is now Nira's turn. So, Nira. Uh, Nero's gonna have some fun because I don't think she's done this yet. She's gonna be here, which I think is okay. Yeah. She is going to cast enlarge and twin it on Rory and Zin. Okay, excellent. <laughs> what does that do? Can you miss the spell just so I know? It adds damage to this. Uh, it does indeed. So it just gives you one d4 if I remember correctly. For you, um, yeah. Uh, and then for Rory, it also gives him like advantage on strength checks and saving throws. I already get that. Do we have more movement now? Super it's not the will anymore. Unfortunately, I don't think it gives movement, which is strange. No. But from the size, you get locked up to medium at least. Uh, you get him to large. Oh, I'm, He's already. I was medium. already. I was already medium. Oh, that's kind oh, of Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the death kiss. It's beautiful. It's quite cute, isn't it? <laughs> Can I kill you, maybe? Yes? <laughs> Sundara, the holder. Um, okay, so you both um, are enlarged. Rory, you start to actually find it quite difficult to fit in this, this corridor, but you're okay. Yeah, I'm okay. Uh, and I think that's her turn. Okay. Rory, you're okay, up. As I need to get rid of her sorcery. Okay. Um, Resource management. Uh, Jojo, Rory you're up next. He's going to move there, and then he is going to. I want to basically get to the other side, but. And Rory is then going to just hit it with the green flame blade. Go for it. That hits. Okay, so that is 17, so, no, uh, 19 points of damage. 19 points of damage on the first attack, okay. and second attack, it's... Wow, uh, that's an additional 15 points of damage. It's oh. 19 points of damage. Oh. Yep. <laughs> 21 points of damage. Okay, 
as you strike out at the death kiss, as you, um, actually, yeah, I forgot about this view as well, Zen. As you both strike out against the death kiss, uh, you leave wounds on it. You're cutting into it. It begins to bleed. As the blood drips from its body, you can see sparks <laughs> jump between the uh, the jump, the sprays of blood from it to you. Um, since you hit um, twice in, you take 10 points of lightning damage, and Rory, you take 10 points of lightning damage as well. Ouch. Don't like that. Take how many, sorry? So you both take 10 points. Okay. Do I get any damage? You don't. Johanna, you're up. Cool, everyone's gone round the corner, so I'm also going round the corner. And... Okay. I do something like that as well. That's fine. And then I'm gonna see it, but I would have followed them as they went round and seen it, so I'm gonna sacred flame it because I am. Okay, if you wanna make the sacred flame roll. I'm doing. Yeah, unfortunately, it does save, so uh, it kind of, even though it's wrapped its tentacles around Ranos, it's kind of dodging and weaving. Um, it's quite cool. dexterous. Does anyone look super... No, everyone looks fine. Does Vanos look super fine? Vanos looks Vanos. fucked. Mm. Oh, Probably bombed and him. pale from all the blood that's I couldn't like... see him behind Zin and under the tentacles, so it was hard to see. That's it. So okay. if you want to heal him, you feel free. I am going to heal him. I'm doing this backwards, so I did a cantrip first, so what level can I go up to? Since you did a cantrip, you can level, cast whatever level you want. Cool, because yeah, I was for some reason doing this backwards. So healing word, I'll do it at I'll do it third level, why not? Okay. He looks like he's dying and we kinda need him. Yeah, he's, he's, he, I guess he has his uses sometimes. Um... He's the only one who can keep us in line. <laughs> so you receive sixteen points of healing healy damage. You see a thumb go up between the tentacles. Between the two tentacles wrapped around it. <laughs> okay. Um, Ranos, uh, your turn. Uh, I will... Uh, what do, uh, do I need to do to get de-restrained? Um, it is going to be an athletics check to break him. Oh, out. God. I will try to get free from this uh, creature's hold. Okay, go for it. Athletics. That's not going to do it, unfortunately. So it's probably my action, right? That is your action, yeah. Okay, I will... Healing Word myself. Oh, level okay. 1. Okay. Fünf additional points of health. 5 points of health. Okay. So and five is then will I be like, ah, help me! I need help! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, I need you to make me a... I need you to make me two constitution saving throws, please. What?! Okay. Oh. Okay. So you take... I'll roll this like this. So it's 4d10 times 2. So I'm just going to do 6d10. Because you've, you've resisted 1. So you take 23 points of... Pit of of necrotic damage as it continues to drain the blood. Can I, uh, can I spirit shield that? It's kind of difficult because it's not actually an attack. Okay. Um, I'll take that. That's fine. And you watch as the creature just begins to draw blood and you watch as it kind of drawn up those tentacles and the wounds that you're inflicting on the creature appear to be closing and healing. <laughs> Oops, that's the wrong way. Add health, not take it away. Uh, and then it's going to make one more tentacle attack against you, Rory, uh, who's attacking it from behind. 22 to hit. 22 to hit. Uh, <laughs> I mean, this check, actually. You, uh, showing his yes. Yep. I am going to use my action to cast shield on that. Okay. Cast shield and the tentacle ping, bounds off harmlessly. What of it? Okay. Can't touch me. <laughs> okay. It 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 knows this now. Uh, Giovanni, you're up. Uh, I'm going to cast Spooky Hand of Doom. <laughs> okay, go for it. 
That hits. Roll damage. Okay, yeah. 11 points from necrotic damage. Not bad. Um, good to know. Anything else? Uh, then I'm gonna run up here. Okay, Zin, you're up. Uh, Zin's gonna attack it twice. Okay. Um, and do you know what? Um, I think I'm gonna go. No, I'm not, because I think it's gonna attack me next, so I'm not gonna go reckless. I'm just gonna do it normal. Okay. Okay, uh, they. First one misses, the second one hits. Um, you deal 14 points of uh, piercing damage as the creature bleeds. My okay, 17 points of piercing damage. Uh, I need you to take another five points of lightning damage. As you strike into it, it just spurts little, uh, electric blood into you. Okay, cool. Nira's turn. Oh, uh, Nira is going to cast uh, chromatic orb at it, which is a first level. Okay. And what type of damage? she's going to do. Go for a signature or change it up a bit? Fire. Fire. Okay. 23, that'll hit. Hey, give me. Uh, it does four she... points of damage. Feel free to do some rewrite. Right. Let me just see I what think she, she has empowered spell. She does. Reroll one. Uh, uh, yeah, you can spend one to reroll a number up to your die. So she's going uh, so she can reroll all of them. So I'm just going to reroll damage. That's better. Okay, so ten points of damage. Is that ten points total? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Not bad. All right, Rory, you're up. Two goes in a row. I know. Um, Rory is not very smart, so he is going to do. Actually. You know what? Fuck it. I really want to do this. Um, so I'm just going to hit it normally twice. Okay. First one hits, the second one misses. So if you roll damage for the first one. Okay. Um. So 16 uh, plus 5 plus uh, 24 plus 126. Nope. Oh, Sorry. That's fine. Plus. Many... Okay, plus 8. Okay, 29 points of damage. Not bad. Uh, I take 5 points of lightning damage. You take do 5 I? points of lightning damage. Yes. And then... No, you take 10 points of lightning damage. No, you only hit once. 5 points. Yep, yeah. and then Modwin is gonna go. <sighs> You're just a shitty. He thinks about what it is. A shitty thing has <laughs> cast vicious mockery at fifth level on it. <laughs> you can do that? Fifth level vicious mockery? I think uh, you cast I... it as if you're. Um, Why is it as I'm fifth level? Let as your high okay. level, so it rolls the two, it rolls the two d four. Two d four, not at fifth level. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, that would I, be pretty. I, cool. I want to do that. <laughs> um, however, the death kiss does succeed. Damn it! As Modwin attempts. Does max to... damage though? <laughs> it would have done max damage, uh, but um, yeah. Modwin, it, Modwin is still trying to get to grips with casting spells. Um, <laughs> Okay. Um, uh, Johanna, you're up. Ranos, you're on deck. <sighs> Is Ranos dying again? He doesn't look very oh, yeah. healthy. I never stop dying! <laughs> it's almost worthless wasting healing spells on him at this point. <laughs> you can maybe free me? Just... I, I, yeah. If, if I just stab it, but I get cut, a, cut the tentacles off him, would I hurt him? You watched as Zin tried, but unfortunately those tentacles are quite resilient. I mean, I did a lot of damage trying to put them tentacles off. Cool. And how damaged does the head thing look? It's not looking great. Mm, cool, I'm gonna stab it. Okay, roll up and make That's your attack. That's my action. Go around here. Go for, Go for it. it. Stabby thing. Stabby thing. I can't read. <laughs> So I'm thinking about having a dozen, a two dozen spells. It makes it difficult. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what? That one, then that one, then this one. 
And you divine strike it as well. Yeah. Well, I, I divine I strike. Oh wait, no, did I mean? Yes, I divine strike everything. I think. Yeah, every every yeah, attack. Everything. Okay. Awesome. So that's just, 20... I can't add it onto the roll thing, so I have to. Just that's fine. In. Twenty-two points of slashing necrotic radiant damage. Um, Most confused one. <laughs> as you take, <laughs> you take five points of lightning damage as it bleeds on you. Cool, that's not a problem. And then my bonus, I am going to level one healing word, Ranos begrudgingly. I accept begrudgingly. begrudgingly. You receive eight points of healing rounds. And it's your turn. It is my turn. I will... Uh, I will cast fear on the the, the thing. Angle it so it doesn't hit any other else. And it, the spell says if it, the creature drops anything, it's holding. Interesting. Can you post the spell for me? Uh, any, each creature in a 30-foot cone. That's going to be quite difficult to do um, without hitting something. Well, like this? Uh, you probably, you, if you do that, you'll hit Rory. Just hit Rory anyway. Just hit Rory anyway. Yeah, I'm, I'm dying, so sorry, Rory. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so run up that corridor and pull my monster. It's a wisdom saving throw. Okay, come on. Yeah. I fail. Rory, give me a wisdom saving throw as well. Uh, so you I fail too. You fail as well. You push while fighting those spells, which must take the dash action and move away from you by the safest available route to be on Well, once tracks. you drop, you can, um, you can just drop concentration. Yeah. So it depends if you want to make it run away as well. Well, you, yeah, you can drop it after its turn. True. Well, I think. Yeah, I, you can drop it any time. Okay. So, um, anything else, Ramos? You are no longer... Uh, as uh, you uh, um, cast your uh, your fear spell, uh, Rory, you watch as Ramos' face contorts with this horrible, phantasmal, uh, ghoulish visage. Your that worst is, nightmare. That is fucking scary. Uh, you just see like, Rory talk. Uh, Ramos! <laughs> I thought you were my best friend! <laughs> you watch as the the Death Kiss's one uh, one eye just goes wide with terror. Uh, and on its turn, it's going to book it. Uh, past Rory. It's going to float. Oh, uh, I will. Go on. It's my turn. Here's your turn. Is there something else you want to do? Sorry. Um, yeah, no problem. I will run, okay. bravely run to the side of the room. Yeah. Uh, and bravely drink. Do I have a. <coughs> Keep, I, I'm just going to heal okay. one way or the other. No problem. Okay, on the creature's turn, he's going to float up <laughs> and away from you. That will, act, that will activate opportunity attacks from Zinn and Ranos, but not Rory, because Rory's scared. Did I get one? Cause you do as well, yeah. From me. yeah, you had a run, Zinn. Cool. Maybe dust off the old rapier. Unfortunately, you ran away, so... The one and that you one. Run, yeah, well, Ranos, you ran away. I would have so. missed anyway, so. That's fine. So, um, Zin is 19. 13 and uh, Yohanna is 19. 13 plus 19 is 32. Okay. Uh, plus another 3. 35. 35. Between you, how do you want to do this? <laughs> so we give it, to, give it to Jojo. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and like cut off all its tentacles, and then I'll let Jojo finish it. I want to shish kebab it. <laughs> okay, as you this creature well. tur <laughs> turns to float away, it doesn't have legs; it can't run. As it turns to float away, as it's turning, Zin, you just hold out your blade and move it, and it turns itself around. And <laughs> as you cut its tentacles off, it kind of spinning around. It gets a bit confused and dazed, and it turns and looks at you, Johanna. Uh, it's still that terror in its eye. You know, <laughs> And straight through, uh, and you watch as uh, the blade pops out the end, as the death kiss slumps to the ground with a heavy, wet thud. Zin, you st and you, know, you still take five points of lightning damage, um, <laughs> um, but the death kiss goes down. Rory, on can the we other hand, this for anything? I am 
peeing myself uh, on the floor. You need to roll. Uh, you need to run seventy odd feet that way. I, I, I'll end the effect. Well, you can end it on your turn. You can end it on your turn. Uh, but he's no, gonna run. No, I don't think so. Actually, but yeah, after he runs. I'm uh, just because it's funny, Rory. You run as far as you can, man. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, I have thir- I I can move seventy feet. Yeah. Just run. Just run to the corridor. As you might watch this massive dwarf. <laughs> uh, I got to it there. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> and you watch as Rory just disappears down the corridor. Um, heavy th- footfalls. Thud, 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 thud. And you hear his thud. Get back! <laughs> Chicken! Um, and that is the end of that round. The death kiss lays dead at your feet. Hmm. Uh, uh, Nira and, and then Ranos drops the spell, and I'm guessing uh, Nira drops her large yeah. spell as well. Yep. I'll cut off a sucker and stick it into the bag of holding. Can, okay. can we harvest anything in about a couple of minutes? It takes a little bit of time to harvest. If you want to stand around and do some harvesting, you're welcome to do. Well, some. I mean, I've already cut off his tentacles. The tentacles are just laying. Oh, yeah, it's, just, it's like uh, did you grab a handful of them if you want to. They're like eels just laying on the floor. Yeah, they look pretty awesome though, and I still have the puncture wounds on, on oh, my yeah. body. You've been attacked. Uh, I, 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 I turn around and do and shoot the the orb. Oh, how long has it been? Do I still have to take magic or has it been too long? Now? Um. I can't tell time. You probably still have it up. Cool. Is my clairvoyance still up? Um, yes, but not for much longer. And nothing's like so. It's not triggered anything. Mm-hmm. Uh, Rory, are you going exploring? Uh, no, I'm coming back. Uh, Rory, like... exploring. <laughs> Rory, <Yeah>. the explorer. <laughs> Rory, the explorer. <laughs> Swiper, no swiping. Can I detect magic on Zin? Um, you detect magic everywhere, and uh, I know. I just feel like yeah, it. You detect <laughs> magic upon him. He is wearing several magical enchan- magically enchanted items. Zin, did you know that you're magic? <laughs> yes. <laughs> just walk away. <laughs> <laughs> the cloak Fairly billows not. behind Fairly him. <laughs> <laughs> no wind still billows. <laughs> Oh, he ruined my punchline. <laughs> I should go. So you find you'll yourself... be uh, you'll get plenty of things to punch. Don't you worry. Ah, <laughs> uh, where should we? There's oh, there's somebody. Really co- Rory. Okay. Oh yeah, there you are. As... Did you see anything up there? Uh, I saw more more holes. I was kind of you know terrified by your face. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't have. Is there something like beer or anything? <sighs> Sorry, I was also very scared that. Uh, uh, I think that I that's just what Ranos looks like when he shakes. <laughs> <laughs> Baby face Ranos. It's horrible. Horrible. Makes babies cry. Uh, Roy just embraces Ranos, like around the waist, basically. And like, don't do that to me again. <laughs> I'll, I'll try to. I'm, I'm really sorry. I, I didn't mean to. I just. I think it would have killed me, so. I was also afraid. I guess I wouldn't want that. As you, you have this conversation, going. you watch as the corridor up here. As the door shuts to the north. The other one here is still open, but this one here shuts. Uh, I saw that. I think it leads up to the same thing when I was up there coming back. Hmm. Well, so I'll see we keep going. East. East is east. I mean, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. by the way, at this point, if you guys want to be stealthy, I will ask you to re roll stealth now. Okay. If you want to do a roll for um, Nira for me, uh, Danny would be appreciated. Yep. I will drink a healing potion. Okay. No, the other thing. <laughs> Healing word. <laughs> Drink a healing word. Uh, second one was Rory. Okay. Does anyone have a, a bit of healing I could have? Uh, I've got quite a, a healing potion, but it's quite a big one and I don't want to waste it. I have a small one. Um, 
We do have a doctor. Oh yeah, Gio, can you a doctor uh, in the house? maybe send to some of my wounds? Sure. No. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, most of my stuff's too big. If I can, so if I do it now, it's kind of. That's what I was thinking with the potion. Yeah. Get some nice lemon juice in there, some salt. Lemon. How many? Yeah, I'm how too OP in healing. I can't heal people. <laughs> what? Uh, how many healer kits do you have? Lots. 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 Ten. <laughs> uh, well, no, I think nine. everybody could definitely use bandage up. I'm fine. I'll I only do one lost for like Rory 10, as well. Thirteen. A number. I could use some health, Doctor. I I and love the idea. Chest. And I one love for the idea that he can heal seventeen points worth of damage in six seconds. Of I know. I mean, he's more powerful than that. He's, he's, <laughs> he roll. He heals as much as a level three cure wounds. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, with with just a single plaster <laughs> over <a plaster. laughs> Just gives you a plaster and some paracetamol. I mean he's yeah. an amazing doctor and an accomplished wizard, so I don't think it's very surprising. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I like to think that the Rory's one has like unicorns on it or something. Are <laughs> <laughs> oh, those war, like waterproof plasters with a smiley face or something and stuff? Yeah. I've never never seen someone suture a wound quickly and accurately. It's pretty impressive. It's quite amazing. Where did you learn that? Doctor school. <laughs> Doctor school? Huh. Where is that? Sounds amazing. There's a university in Baldur's Gate. Hmm. Maybe we should visit. Uh, where we should, uh, are we should. Are we going? You need to get going. Mm -hmm. Yeah. East? East? Yeah, I'm all for going east. <laughs> I feel maybe the, this door. Someone was trying to help us, but probably not, right? Uh, was, was this well, I mean, the one that I opened now? Stealth, stealth. Well, yeah, we've already stealthed. Down you've already done your stealth. Investigate, roll, and investigate. You did really bad. Uh, give me the investigation check. Yeah. So you have a number. You have two options. You can go up or down. There is no east. I say we go up. I feel it was. Shall I? I can recast locate object from here. I can see if it's up or down. Maybe save the spells for now. I've still got a bunch left. Spells. I'm still good. Go for I, it. I well, like it's your decision. I, I'm, I'm carrying around, but I, I'm going to switch. But I need to, from what I'm concentrating on, to concentrate on something else. Just don't get stabbed again or tentacled. I'll do my best. Okay, so as you cast Locate Object, um, you get a pull uh, in that direction. I can't well, see. I can't see. I, can't see. Do do I think you're doing green on top of green. I am doing green on top of green. Uh, okay. It's my folly as, folly as an artist. Uh, that uh, way. That way. Okay, cool. You can't tell how far, uh, but you get the idea you're on the same level and it's kind of up and to the right. Okay, so you want to go so like northeast. up northeast. Sure. Yeah. So I peek my eyes around. Uh, make me your make me another investigation check. I I just did one. Did that not? Is that something else? That was for the corridor. This is different. Yeah. Okay. 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 <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> Giovanni, the place is fine. As you're about to, you go, yeah, it's fine, Ramos. Like, no, there's definitely a trip wire just there. Oh. <laughs> Just in the, in the in the mouth. Yeah. Yeah. See, <laughs> there's a wire. Please don't <laughs> trip. Let's just step over the trip wire. Is it across this doorway? It is. Yeah, with a sad yeah. face. <laughs> Gingerly <laughs> step like across. It. Yes, step across. Is there an op in here? Uh, there is. Um, at pretty much the same time you shoot it this time. <laughs> You watch as a corridor opens just here. Curious. And there's an orb in that corner. No, there, there was an orb in that corner uh, that you shattered. Um, you hear from somewhere behind you the grinding of stone upon stone again. Um, you're not sure where, 
but you, you hear, it sounds like something is either opening or closing elsewhere in the dungeon. And now that you've been walking through the labyrinth for a little while, you've been in here for a bit of time, um, your clairvoyance will probably drop off about now, about now by the way. So, cool. um, you've been in this dungeon for a little while, and that hum that, that hum that you hear throughout the entire area uh, is quite still quite persistent, but you do pick up where it seems to uh, almost pulses very slightly before the doors uh, open up. Um, it seems like something is, some kind of power is uh, controlling these either mechanically or randomly. Did we notice any kind of... Are they running on a timer? Is there... Make me an intelligence An interval? Check. Giovanni, do you think uh, there might be... <laughs> Feel free to both make an intelligence check if you have this conversation uh, to discuss yeah, this. I'll, I'll I mean, you're, you're very way smarter than uh, I am. Uh, I mean, I, have think to say, so I think fine. Zin is probably the most intelligent. <laughs> of course. Zin, roll me an intelligence check. Are what we all it? just rolling intelligence checks? Go Can for I it. Think, go for it. I think that roll it's, one? there's stupid people that are rolling it for the fun. For the fun of it. <laughs> um, wow. Okay. You, you kind of all, you, as Ranos says it out loud, you all have a think. And you go, and yeah, telling time's difficult, but these changes appear to be quite regular. Hmm, okay. That could be useful in the future. As I chalk down on the bottom with Disgusting brown chalk. <laughs> the poopy chalk. It looks like so um, yeah. So this this way, right? Yeah. Said, keep, yeah keep, going, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Why are you stopping? Keep going. Traps and everything, you know, the shebang. Yeah, but go through them faster. Yeah. Okay. As you enter this room so <laughs> brazenly, <laughs> shit. <laughs> you see a large set of oh, double no. doors. And then when you kind of have a look, they aren't doors. They're shields. And you see, perched up against the back wall, a huge, it looks frosty, but it's a, a huge fire giant, kind of leaned up against this, against the wall. Two massive shields kind of standing in front of him. Um, Appears to be snoring. No, back. I point in the direction we came from. However, as you all burst into the room, and we with those stealth? terrible stealth checks, yeah, oh, okay. I looked at your stealth checks. You had like yeah. two, there's an eight, there's a ten. You didn't stealth very well, uh, and you weren't. You were stealthing but talking at the same time. You, as you dart back out, you hear. Mm. Shoot it. Shoot it. Shoot and it. you jump out of Ray as you kind of all jump back um, a little bit. You hear the giant begin to rouse, and you can start. You okay. hear them. You hear. It doesn't seem to have noticed you, but it has been woken from its slumber. Does it, it fit in the corridors? Um, you don't know. It looks pretty fucking big, though. Um, Let's move back. There's a giant. Running! Is it Hecaton time? <laughs> Maybe! Let's go back! He's just like Hecaton. Out of sight! Like, if he can't fit in here, then well, maybe. You know? Uh, should we go to. Uh, like here? I'm gonna around the corner it. here. I'm okay. gonna whisper. I think we can take it. We're gonna have to get yeah. past it. Let's just go. Yeah. Were the doors behind it? Or, or were the. Did you see shields? that thing? That big fucking shield was. What? We need a plan Zin, here. Zin just doesn't even. Zin doesn't even look phased. He's like so confident. Like he's just like. So. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, are we moving well, back or just getting annihilated from behind? Rory, are we going? Uh, I'm going to cast from my uh, ring. I'm going to cast blast on myself, Zin, and. Johanna, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you are hashtag blessed. 
and as I just gave the nod to Zin. <laughs> oh, maybe... One second, guys, I just need to shut a window. One second. He's a giant, so maybe we can talk to him? Maybe there's something he needs? Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Maybe there's a... Maybe he's a, a, a servant and we he actually doesn't want... I mean, yeah. giants are not demons, right? I don't know. Everything yeah, here. Maybe he hates his master just as much as the collector does. Sorry about that. I mean, uh, I, I'm just gonna fire you element. Can go talk to fire, me if you want right now. Fire giant. Just scrap me off the floor, okay? Yeah, let's go. Okay, so um, uh, you may have just seen the hand down I dropped off, but that is um, what the fire giant mm -hmm. looks like. Zin's just gonna Zin's just gonna rage and full charge it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Warrior's following. <laughs> okay, as you rush around the corner, uh, as the giant is kind of looking around for you guys, at, uh, I'd like you all to straight away roll me some initiative, please. Yeah, buddy. Unfortunately, the, the, uh, your surprise round isn't very surprising now. Uh, Natural 20. I dig Let's it. Let's go. 15, not bad. I need to find where I... Where the hell did I put this? Um, I have like 10 different folders where I keep creatures and I'm not sure where I put it. There you are, Phil. Phil the fire giant. Phil the fire giant. As you know, I'm great with naming stuff. Uh, initiative. Wow. I'll dig that. Okay. So. Oh, I'm, I'm muted. Ha <laughs> ha. I was saying. Did you get the part about the uh, talking to him because he maybe hates? Oh yeah, we do. Okay. Yeah, that was her. So I'm straight up ignored, and then I'm just getting knocked about while you guys are <laughs> it's like running why around you talk me. To like, it. ah. it's like ah. um, we did use two seemings in one day, so I have no fifth level spells left over, right? That sounds right to me. Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, as you guys barrel into the room, Rory. You watch as the fire giant is now stood up, standing an impressive 20 feet tall. The room, the ceiling is a little bit raised here. And kind of his plant, he's, as he sees you come round, he roars at you with a deep bellow that resides around, that resonates around the room and through the corridors. And he slams both his shields into the ground in front of you, forming a barricade. What do you want to do? Leroy! <laughs> 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 I would like to annihilate Leroy me. Jenkins. <laughs> As I run it. Oh, wait, no, I'm already, I'm already concentrating blast. I can't cast. Leroy! Um, okay, then. Bonus action, can I actually do anything? Sorry, I was about to cast Hunter's Mark on it, but I'm already concentrating on something. Yeah, you already have hashtag West. Um, let's see. Ooh, yes! I am gonna do this, actually. I'm gonna... You cut out there, completely. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna... He said it again. It's amazing. Blood curse of mutual suffering. Okay, there's no save on that, is there? Uh, no. Is um, it I'm going to amplify it. Okay, you take your take your damage. So I take two points. Cool. And uh, then I'm going to attack it twice when Mod win. Go for it. Make your attacks. That hits. That misses. Okay. So you deal 16, 19, 24 points of, of slashing, piercing oh, damage. Sorry, I have also the right. And what right have you got? Uh, cold. You've got cold one. Good to know. Awesome. You strike out and you find a gap in the shielding and you poke it in the shin and it roars at you. Does it look injured? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't. Uh, no. How's that? Uh, how's that looking? How's that looking? <laughs> oh, it's definitely bloody, guys. Um, Giovanni, you're up. Uh, yeah, I'm running up here, and I'm casting banishment from the book as okay. a bonus action. As so bonus a... banishment from the bonus action. Okay. Uh, as a charisma saving ooh, throw. Yes. Wait, sorry. For the other attack, I can use hashtag bless. 
it won't make a difference. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Even uh, 19 won't? No. Nope. <laughs> oh, I have a 17 DC. So it succeeds against banishment. Damn. Very close. Yeah. You don't have to burn anything for that. I'll cast Spooky Hand of Doom. That's my action. Okay, that will miss. Okay. Uh, then I'm done. Okay. Okay, as you do so, it sees you casting spells at it. On its turn, it's going to look at you, Giovanni. Oh no. And it's going to charge at you. Oh. It just, you start breaking into a run and it knocks you aside completely, Rory. So. Do I get an attack of opportunity? Uh, maybe. Maybe not. Oh, did you make me a, a strength saving throw? Okay. And I also need you to make me a strength saving throw, Giovanni. So, you I fail, like Rory. It. You are both knocked prone. <laughs> And you both take. Um, uh, you both take. 14 points of bludgeoning damage as you are knocked prone. As he just puts both shields on the ground and just charges through, knocking you to the side, Rory. I need a concentration Ooh, check from you. Sorry, well, actually, please. sorry. Uh, With your bless, yeah. 22 then? 22 does succeed. You are. You are Still take the damage, but you're not not prone. As you, okay. as this giant just just charges at you, Giovanni, just smack slams you with both the shields. Do I then get attack of opportunity? You do. Cool. Let's go. Uh, it's then going to look at you, Giovanni, on the floor, and it's going to bring up one of those shields and try and slam down on you. Ah, oh, it's got the advantage, right? Well, 32 to hit. That hits. Um, so as it you takes take, 23 points. As you take 35 points of piercing fire damage. Okay, so when do I lose? automatically lose uh, death failure? Oh, no, it's, it's only if you take, like, entirety of your health pool again. So you're okay. Okay, so I'm at uh, zero. I'll cutting word damage. Okay. Uh, I will um, have a shield it as well. <laughs> All of the reactions go into this. Okay, it doesn't make a difference. Um, you can't reduce. Uh, what's your health, Giovanni? Twenty-two. Yeah. Uh, okay. Between the two of you, you can't reduce the damage enough to to not to take. You do it, but it still takes them to zero. <laughs> I can uh, see his health bar. <laughs> it's stuck in the wall. Um, and Rory, you you fail long board. No. I I four caster. Okay, you're okay then. And he takes. Uh, how much damage uh, did you take? 23 points of damage. 23 was it? Is that what you took? Oh, for the uh, No, the no, that's, yes. that's for my attack. Uh, the blood curse. Mutual suffering hasn't happened because it has been a melee attack. Uh, okay. <laughs> Alright then. As you watch, as Giovanni, the rest of you watch, as this giant streaks across the room, batters Giovanni, and slams his body into the ground, and just roars in a defiant bellow, and then puts his both his shields back on the ground, looking for his next target. Uh, Zin, you're up. Uh, Zin's gonna run at it and hit it. Okay, reckless or non-reckless? So Giovanni's on the ground? Giovanni's then? unconscious. Looking. Okay. You ain't gonna be dead. I am trying to consider whether I want to wreck this or not. It's up to you, buddy. Uh, I think I will wreck this it. Go for it, make your attacks. That hits. That hits as well. Out of interest with the uh, normal of hit in the first one. You don't know. <laughs> as you deal 33 points of piercing damage. Okay, is that your turn? That is my turn. Okay, you're Hannah, you're up. <sighs> Shit, okay. It looks... I'm trying to see whether I think it's going to make a DC. Make, make the con saving throw or not. Hard to tell. I imagine it's got very high constitution. I know, <laughs> which means I'm going to have to do it to myself. Because I think it's literally made of fire. I know. Oh, shit. Fire okay. and muscle. That one. <laughs> now see, Giordano, I'm going to do it to myself. Okay. Because it says I can transfer it from myself. Fair enough. 
I forget, it's been a long time since I wrote it, so... Because I have the, the, the hit points to spare. Okay, so if you want to take yourself 4d6 necrotic damage. 4d6, yeah. Uh, how so you just you see me, I just... You have Damn. to move within 30 feet of him, so you're currently... I, I was planning to anyway. I'm going to go sit... Because I was going to end up be blocking paths a bit if I can. Okay, so... Um, uh, Ranos and Zin, as you watch, as Johanna uh, runs forward, as she does so, she kind of just takes the blade and um, draws a little bit of blood uh, from her own forearm. And as she, she holds it up, and you watch as a sickly dark light flows from her arm and envelops Giovanni as he his eyes flash open and uh, and Johanna looks a little bit unwell uh, you ha uh, Giovanni you regain 12 hit points oh nice how, how does temp HP work while unconscious uh, you can gain it but I don't um, actually hard to tell not sure um, I think I think it doesn't ra it doesn't raise you. I don't think it'll raise you up to get you up. I don't think you can save someone with ten page. Not sure. I'll do. I say I'll <laughs> deal with the situation when it turns up, but I'm sure you're going to make it turn up in a second. Ranos, you're up. Oh, Hecaton. Oh, oh god, how does this giant look? It, it looks. It looks. It looks. Beefy. It looks like he he's, he has ta he is taking damage. You can see a few cuts on him uh, where fire is pouring out. Um, it's hard to tell though. I will cast the uh, blindness deafness. Okay, what type of save is that? Wisdom. I think I think it's con actually. <laughs> yeah, con save. Okay, yeah. Uh, for blindness. 31. Yeah, of course. <laughs> uh, healing word on Jovan. Yeah, I'm glad I just have to just have myself. <laughs> okay, uh, Nira's up. I will move back into the corridor a little bit. Yes, sorry. I forget you do more than one thing. Um, <laughs> Nira's turn. Oh, yeah, sorry. Sorry, uh, yeah. Hashtag blight! <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think it's probably... Uh, she's gonna blight his ass. Okay. 20 on the console. So half damage. Yeah, that'll probably do <laughs> Yeah, it. that'll do it. I mean, who needs spellcasters when you just keep adding muscle and health? Uh, as you do 18 points of necrotic damage to the creature. Yep. Okay. Rory, uh, you're up. Oh, go on. I mean, let's check if she can do anything else. I don't think I she don't can. don't think there's anything else she can do. Nope. Okay. Uh, so Rory is gonna run up and shout, Come after me! Just charge them, he said. Will it be fine, he said. Yeah, I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm about a quarter of your size. Fucking like brothers. As I go to. Uh, I think you're more like a ninth of his size. But, uh. Yeah, I'm going to just give it a good old smack twice. Go for it. Okay. First one hits, second one misses. And then also right. Okay. So twenty-two points of damage. Good to know. Okay. Um, so I think that's what I could do with my bonus action. Um not really right now, so that's my turn. Okay. Giovanni, you're up. You are still prone, but you are conscious. Uh, I'm gonna try to banish it again. Okay. Charisma. <laughs> the dice are okay. in my favor for once. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It had to happen eventually, didn't it? Yeah. yeah. I'm just gonna lie there. <laughs> okay. It's take stand advantage for me and stand up, so it doesn't get advantage against you. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I'm gonna stand up. <laughs> I don't think it makes too much difference. So he's gonna bring down his shield attack. On his turn, he's gonna attack Giovanni. 22 to hit. That hits. As you take 
sorry, that's the first, um, the first one, which is 25 points of bl um, bludgeoning, da bludgeoning, piercing fire damage. Does all yeah, three is great. So back down you go. Uh, he's then going to turn around and go on Rory. Um, only 17. Can I allow it to hit? You can do. Uh, yeah, fuck it. Hit me, bro. Okay, so you take 32 points of damage. Uh, so does he. Yeah. Take some of it. Hey, ignore it, <laughs> chronic resistance. Oh, yeah, no, it's, oh, it's necrotic crossing. damage it's it does back, back isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's fine. He didn't like that, but he hits you. Uh, and uh, he's going to go for one more against Zin. Disagree. I miss. That'll miss. I, uh. Um, 16 to hit. Misses. I pass my save to keep Blast on. Good to know. I don't know. You hit me. Oh, yeah, because, um, you. Reckless. I reckless. Okay, yeah. Zin, you take. Um, 32 points. The uh, the bludgeoning you reduce to 13, you don't. So 19 down to 9, plus 13, 22 points. 22 points of bludgeoning fire damage. Oh, shit. I don't know. Don't kill yourself over it. Uh, Zin, you're up. <laughs> Hang on. Hang on. I accidentally just deleted my health and put 22. Yeah. Uh, I think you were at 80 that. something before. I was, yeah. So, so let's just say. Let's just say it, 60, it's fine. Yeah, I was just going to say, let's say 60. It was around 80. Um, okay, Zin is going to do a Zin. I'm not going to reckless. <laughs> okay. Okay. They both hit. What is with your rolls, damn it? We're all below a 10 for once. Um, <laughs> 31 points of damage, that's not bad. Um, good to know. Is that it? Uh, yeah, that's it. Okay, Jojo, you're up. If the faster it gets down, the faster it can stop hitting things. True, Giovanni is currently bleeding out again. Oh, again? I've not been paying attention to him. <laughs> no, he, he tried to do something and then he's got go away, little gnat, and squished him. Um, he's currently looking really bad. <laughs> he's looking really bad, Giovanni or the giant? Oh, Giovanni. <laughs> the giant's not looking good. The Giovanni's looking a lot worse. Okay, I'm bonus okay, action. Okay. I'm gonna bonus action healing word Giovanni uh -huh. at level. I haven't decided if it's three or four. One of them, <laughs> level high, whichever one I get. And the, the, the healing word is going to be really again. Okay, Giovanni, gonna... you take something. So. I... Am I gonna use my level four? Use my level three. <laughs> Doesn't deserve more than that at the you moment. You don't deserve fourth level spells. As you go, the twenty-four points of HP. I stabbed myself for him. That's my bonus. So that's my action. I'm just gonna stab the elemental. See what works. Uh, that will miss. Yeah, bless. Well, you have to have bless. I have bless. What a bless. One d four. One d four. That might make it. Might. Oh, by the way, I don't know who I am. That just hits. Oh, thank God. So that one, and also I haven't finished that one. Okay, so 15, 21, not bad. Okay. Look, Giovanni, get out of here. Ranos, you're up. Yeah, you get out of here. You dash away. <laughs> Bravely. Disengage. Use your action to disengage. <laughs> Run away! <laughs> the fire, as a fire giant, just, just kind of as like, I warding, heal him, warding him with a oh. shield. As you gain five Hi. points of healing damage, Giovanni. Or oh, banish it again. Why yeah. am I so bad at combat again? Uh, because every party's got to have one. No, you, you're the best if you use that bloody animate object, though. I can't, I'm I use it for seeming. That's a shame, isn't it? Yeah, it's a shame. <laughs> um Vish Just mockery. Mockery again. <laughs> Are you compensating with these shields? <laughs> Takes okay, roll some damage. Hey, that's a big mm. piece of gifts. No, it already had disadvantage against everyone uh, else, Yeah. So <laughs> uh, it takes six points of, of psychic damage. Nice. 
No, but it, the next, it's a next attack. It's next it attack is a disadvantage, but it's already a disadvantage for most people anyway. Because mm. of me. But with plus right, 13 to hit, him, doesn't make too much difference. Everyone else. Um, we'll just skip that round, but it's Nero's turn now. Okay. So I, Nero, I skipped round again. Uh, Nero is going to go. So, pretty my friends, as she is going to lightning bolt. What is it? What's the one that's a level three one? Lightning bolt. Lightning, yeah, lightning bolts. Yeah, I don't have great decks. Never mind. Um. Wow. Shush. Is that lightning bolt? No, that's that's, that's scorching. That's lightning breath. Sorry, no, yeah. wrong one. Yeah. I think it's eight D. Just roll eight D six. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't think she has. She has lightning bolt in her staff. Not. Not. As a yeah, staff. that's why I'm. I'm using this. Yeah. So yeah, it's right. He takes twenty-four, so he takes twelve points of damage. Uh, can he, she use empower? Uh, um, the staff. Staff. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Okay. She is going to use one. I think yeah, because her um, since her quest completed, she can do everything for the yeah. staff. Yeah. Uh, she's going to reroll three of those. Go for it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the twelve back, and you give me a new total. Because uh, my brain doesn't do maths. Well. So take. Oh well, I rolled the exact same as okay. taken away. Twelve again. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Nero, if you're watching. I'm a. <laughs> you did great so far, Rory. You're up. Not those fireballs. Mm. Oh. Rory. You're uh, up. Okay, Rory is going to shed. Yeah. Hope you like that. Come and get me again, you big. Fucking fire giant as he tries to kick one of the sheep and it twice with uh, Marvin. Go for it. That's a miss. And that's a hit. Oh, nice. <laughs> so that's um, 18, 23, 29, 36. 36. Okay. And you know what? I'm just going to. Yeah, I've been given. Finger and then cast or do the same thing again, mutual suffering, amplify it. Th doesn't it stay up? Uh, For a minute. It works one attack. Oh, is it really? Huh? It works, uh, it basically deals the damage, then this uh, curse then ends. Uh, I thought it was just maintained. Fair enough. Oh no, that would be OP as fuck. Yeah. Okay, Giovanni, you're up. I'm going to disengage. Okay, <laughs> that's an action disengage, got it. And go and stand up. Yeah, so that's half, so you move, yeah, you got half movement. I get to there. You can get to yeah. there. Is that you done? Yep. Okay, <laughs> on this guy's turn, he's going to do, he's going to make his three attacks clockwise, count, uh, counterclockwise. Johanna's in, Rory. So Johanna, 22 to hit. Just hits me. As you take... 33 points of damage. Fine. Zin, you take 23 reduced to half, which is 11 plus 15, 26 points of damage. And Rory misses. Uh, I know what, fuck it. Let him, let him hit. Okay, fuck it. You take um, 27, 37, 39, 39. points of damage. I uh, so does he. <laughs> As he breaks down the shield, he goes BANG! And then pulls his other shield forward and basically punches you with its in. And then takes his other shield and looks down at the tiny dwarf, spits at you, this almost spitting fire, and just reaches around and backhands you with the shield, knocking you back about 10 feet. As, you, as he does so, he kind of he loses his balance, and he, he just. He, the weight of the shield carries his momentum round, and he just spins and turn, does a full 180 and slams himself into the wall here. Uh, and then, pff, and just very slowly slides down, it, leaving a drool mark as he goes. You just see a big grin on Rory's face. And covered him as he's, as he's bleeding from missing to yeah. heavily, He's like heavily bleeding from everywhere. But <laughs> the fire giant Dreadnought has been defeated. 
Wow. Not bad, Whew. guys. <laughs> I think we turn around to run us and go, told you we could take it. <laughs> but he didn't disappear. He didn't disintegrate. This one has not disintegrated. Ah. Neither did, ne deal, neither did the Death Kiss. Did, did, the, oh, right. did the, the Minotaur? The Minotaur did, yeah. So these weren't demons. Or devils. Devils. Uh, Johanna, you got one of these big healy things. Big. You might impart on a fellow compatriot adventurers. Patriots. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do, um... Also, we wouldn't have shields in the bag of holding. Oh, yeah, God, I was actually no. saying, can I... These sh okay, these shields are like barn doors. <laughs> They're... Can I put his axe in the bag of holding if I do it? I he will... He doesn't have an axe, he has body. two shields. Oh, okay, I'm, I... Yeah, okay. I will uh, loot his body. Can I loot... Can we have a nap? Has he... Does he have a key? He does this not have a key. This giant-ass key for the door... Uh, there is no key. Uh, you, lo you loot him. He has nothing at all on him. He has, Not even a he has or some. He has some rations, some giant rations, and a big water. He's got a, he's got like a keg uh, for a water skin, um, but he has got little on him. And as you kind of as you inspect this creature and you look for loot, you can see various uh, healed scars. And Sorry. puncture uh, wounds and various um, uh, injuries that have been inflicted over a long period of time and healed. I feel bad. Jojo, will you, you re resurrect him? <laughs> no. Let's find him again. Yeah! I, I can try to resurrect him. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, please do try. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna. I, I do mean, you can. It, his, I think Giovanni's resurrection isn't quite resurrection. Um, I know what he's implying. Uh, then why, why were you charging in there, man? Just now you were like, mm, maybe you should corpse, and you're like, no, fuck it, man. Let's get in there. What's up? I, I'm gonna turn to runner, so like I've got quite a serious stuff on my face, so I'm gonna go. So. Me and Johanna had a conversation recently about how Zinn is not always himself. Are and you talking about yourself in the third person? This, uh, this is one of his guides. Yeah, that's not him, Zinn. Right so now. was the, the guy that ran in. Uh, okay. It's in the bar, sir! Nice of you to share this fact with the... Now that you've been with us for... Half a year. It's not maybe the best part. <laughs> well, apparently, he didn't kind of well, downtime. Yeah, he had half yeah. a year downtime, yeah. Yeah, he wasn't really with you. Um, you know what I'm saying. Say. This happened in fairness. So these guys have only been around for a little while. <laughs> okay, okay, good to know. Um, feel free to elaborate on this. I can say at a later a time about myself when the time comes. Okay, I'm looking forward to it. Be warned, you may not get a nice answer. You ask. That's fine. There's one guy who we're supposed to punch if we see him because he's an asshole. Do you uh, have still uh, do you still objects still active, <laughs> Jojo? Um. Yes. Yeah. Where do we go? That way. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to see I don't think we can take see. much more of this uh, kind of assault. <laughs> So, so I'm trying either... to see if I want to do a mass healing word for people as well. Yeah, I'm still pretty here. Rory yeah, does her and goes, that was, this is why you brought me along. I'm pretty good at fighting big fucking things. Okay, Were you good at getting yourself punched? For... Uh, you saw that punch end up killing him. Yeah, that's kind of impressive, but still, I mean, you look at the punch in the face. <laughs> this... This face has been punched many times. It was beautiful. I can when tell, it, yeah. It was beautiful once upon a time. Not so much now. Yeah, I mean, thank you for putting yourself on the line like that. That's it's appreciated, but uh, isn't it a little extreme? That's what best friends do, Ranos. <laughs> <Huh>? Okay. <laughs> uh. 
Okay. I'm interrupting. Everyone else gets up to 22 healing points as well. 26. 20 26. Oh my god. I like that Nira's not been touched. <laughs> <laughs> I play Nira to the way Nira plays her. Oh yeah. <laughs> And she okay. still has armor and Agathis on it as well. <laughs> so like, <laughs> hasn't taken any damage, mainly because I don't want to kill her when she's not here. So if what you, if you ever think get? yourself find yourself in a terrible situation, don't turn up for that week, and you get plot armor. <laughs> um, Did we get any loot off it? Nothing. There was nothing. nothing. Has, nothing. He only has food and water on him, he but he's quite heavily scarred, so maybe he was. Can I take his food and water? I think he was a pit fighter. He was, he's, the food and water's quite, it's like giant food and water, like, mm. it, you can't really, you, I mean, you it's might like get a nibble. like a burger the size of my head. Could I decant yeah. the water? Um, no. Okay. I'm just, after we almost ran out of rations, I'm now. Yeah. Let me see about things. Okay. I'll so, take so, uh, so can you raise him, Giovanni? I can't. Oh, that would be so cool and helpful. Big. Um. You, uh, Someday, eh, friend? <laughs> One day. Someday. The locate object we'll is still together. going and it's pointing this way. Okay. Uh, and from here you can see that the corridor continues, it opens up into another room. Um, and I know it's just beyond your vision range, really. Uh, but there is a large door just there. Anyone need any more healing? I still have I'm, some ability. I'm Me? pretty hurt, but I'm okay. I, I um, do... Jojo, you don't by any chance can you cast that spell again into my ring? It's very Which useful one? that fight. Uh, the bless. Eight to goals. whoever is hurt the most. That'll be me. How much damage have you taken? Uh, like All of it. over over fifty. Over nine thousand. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let's be quiet. I, I got to fifty. For the next um, part here I again. Six. Not charge, Mister. Whoever you are, in there. I will follow your lead on this. Uh, Just don't charge. You don't have to follow my lead. If I give it to lead. you now, I can cast it myself later. Okay, if you're being stealthy, I'd like another round of stealth checks, please. I just roll mine. It would be great. It was great. It was amazing. Yeah. Oh, great. Yeah. Yeah. I can barely stand up. It seems. <laughs> Come. So it's a good roll. I up for it. Okay. So, the dwarf. feel free to continue as you sneak. Uh, sneak, sneak, watch, watch. Okay, so there is there's a door here. I just haven't put it in because I forgot. Uh, but there. Uh, are, oh, by the way, was there an orb in the room that we were in where we fought the giant? Yeah. Yeah, I destroyed it. Before <laughs> I leave. That's fine. I'm assuming you're destroying them now. But uh, as you get here, there is a large, heavy um, metal door seems quite thick and above it um, you can see what appears to be an engraved stone face okay it's got like two jeweled eyes and there's an inscription that reads uh, beneath it it says speak speak the password to enter and then you can see a chalkboard written underneath it and it says the word ship and is it thing? written in giant? <laughs> Sorry, no, it's written it... in. It's written in infernal. And uh, as you approach, you watch. You can see a movement ahead of you, and the stone face looks down at you. It's, and it, a voice resonates from it. The mouth does not move, but a voice resonates. Hello, how are you? That's not the voice I was expecting. <laughs> <laughs> Does this team seem too easy to you? I say to Nero. Nero says, "Yes." Hello. Play, Nero. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Haven't seen you before. Are you new? Yeah, we just started here. Ah, uh, that's cool. What Can are you this? looking for us? Sorry. You can't. Does Can he you speak common? He doesn't speak common. Oh, okay. <laughs> What are these weird orbs down there? Yeah, you can see his, his eyes look dart up. Don't know. Is there one in this room? No. Are you stuck here? Uh, I live here. Oh yeah, what's it, what, what, what do you do? 
on the door. Huh. What are you? A guy? That sounds <laughs> cool. It's <laughs> okay. Not so much these days. So, um, so what are you doing yeah. in here? We were supposed to fetch uh, this uh, nice pearl from, I guess, your boss. Oh, yeah, he's got lots of nice pearls. <laughs> Will you... Is this the place? This, 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 his corridor is very confusing. Is it? I've never been out there. Yeah, it's like you, you get lost and you don't know where you're going and... Oh, that's Quite sucks. a while to get here. Maybe you're not very smart. Maybe. That's okay. I'm not very smart either. I'm Dor. Is that your name? Dor? Yes. Oh, cool. Uh... Are Ask you open what for the us? password is. Yeah, yeah, what's the, what's the password? I don't know. I can't quite see it. It says... I, I look to Nero. It says ship. Really? That's a weird password. Yeah? Yeah. Not heard that one before. The last one was lizard. Lizard? Yeah, I guess they changed it. Hmm. Do you know where we can get the password? Who who comes by here and has the password? Oh, I can't remember. I'm a door. I mean, you can talk. So can you. That's true. Very true. Um. Shit. The password is shit. I know, you told me. Thank you. Nice. <laughs> Guys, he. I, I've said the words on the wall and he won't budge. I think I don't think it's ship. Buzzword is chip, not chip. I say in common. Does that nothing happens? Yeah. What? Well, let's go raise the fire giant and get the password off of him. But well, you have the password. Big boat. Boat. Why isn't it opened? Yes. Can I go open I push the door. The, the the door is quite solid, quite firm. Can I make a roll for being too real life sad to really think about it so I get a slight pass on stuff? No. <laughs> However, the door, as you guys are speaking, he does switch to common. Oh, you guys speak like this. I can speak like that too. That's Aww. a bit easier. Um, uh, so we have I, a password. Can I try to push you open? Um, you can try. Will it work? I don't think so. I'll go up and try. Push the door, it's very sturdy. Um, what did you say, Zin? But we gave you the password. And I'm very grateful for that. Thank you. What else do you want? So why won't you open? I don't know, I'm a door. I don't know how I work. Do you know how you work? Is there a door handle? Pretty much. There's no door handle. Can, can you say the word ship in Inferno? Sorry, what was that? Were you talking to? Can you say, can you say the word ship in Inferno? Are you saying that to Ranos or the door? The door. Yeah, yeah, I can. Can you show us? I don't think I have to prove myself to you. Um. <laughs> I have said it. Can, can you say it's okay. infernal? Bet you can. How many? What's the word? Chip or ship? S H I P. Right, okay, that's, that's what I thought. <sighs> okay. Uh, Where does a captain live? Um, Captain's house? No, he's on the water. I'll give you a hint, he's on, he lives. So you cut out, just, you cut, you cut out the last bit of that. What's that uh, I, I, I'll give it. He lives uh, on something in the water. Oh, a boat! Bigger than that, I think. Freight. Freighter. Frigate. <laughs> Battleship. 
That's the door opens. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the I'm going to try hard it then, were you? Oh! I, oh! Oh, I get it now. And then he just, sits the door. There, he just sits there smiling. The door's sleep. open now. And sleep. He just kind of sits there, he just sits there happily, just like... Oh, I guess you're going now, aren't you? Yeah. Bye, new friends! Bye, Bye door! You're out. cool. Thanks. Um, Great job, by the way. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, as you uh, move forwards, uh, you enter a huge room. Uh, the no traps. Uh, as you enter this huge room, it looks like some kind of a vault. And it's piled high with gold and art pieces and gems and jewels and various other implements. Hmm. You have oh reached God. the vault of Aramis. We should loot take... everything! A lot of stuff. <laughs> we need all of this. Yes. Now, you may you will scribe all of it, though. <laughs> that um, the collector asked you take the pearl. And just the pearl. Oh, As right. If, uh, he's never if, gonna know. If you want to go against that, you are welcome to. But I'm, uh, it was a, it was a while ago, so I just wanted to give you that reminder that he said just uh, the pearl. Is there a way we could kind of make one you of have the fake of it. teleportation circles so we could kind of put one here, take the pearl and leave, then come back, get the stuff, and then leave again? If you have a year, uh, teleportation takes a year to inscribe, unfortunately. Oh, uh, yeah, I forgot uh, it's only if she's got this special. Yes. Who has Mage Hand? I do. I do. How about this whole labyrinth? Um, heavily we... booby trapped. It's ten past. It is. Would you like to call it here? <laughs> Not really, though. But, I was waiting for you. you do, I was waiting for you to do your next fuck up and then call it. So uh, we'll carry on just for a minute as Zen enters the vault. Yeah. Check for traps. I will check for traps. Okay, maybe everywhere. an investigation check. And then I I look for the it, pearl and uh, on the way there. Of look. course. Yeah. You have a look around. I go on, Rory. Sorry, go ahead. Okay. You no, look around ahead. and uh, you do not see any traps this time. Uh, yeah. You do see uh, one of the um, orbs in the vault corner. One of those glass orbs, and you do see off to the side there is a, a pedestal. It stands about four foot tall, and on it it has a football-sized um, uh, spherical jewel, or like a like a yellowish pearl that you recognise as the, as the thing that you were given by the collector. Is it trapped? Does it appear to be? So it's definitely what trapped. I <laughs> yeah, what I'm thinking is, this whole place has been trapped. So I'm guessing this place is also going to have some kind of thing to it. I say we take um, a step back, and you guys try to pick up just a random thing with one of your mage hands. I summon See. my mage hand. Before we do anything, let me go back to our new friend and hammer him, him in place so we're not stuck. In the vault, when it closes. Okay. It closes. okay. You 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 try and stop at the door as best you can. Should someone stay on the outside of the door? I mean, if you make him say the words again, Nira, can you stay outside and make him say ship again? Sure. Um, uh, we should maybe. Did you spot the you so we know the pearl that? We're talking about the football size one, is that? It's like down here. Uh, yeah. Um, Geo, do you want to go and see if you can pick it up with your mage hand? Sure. I'll take the uh, the fake one so we can do a Indiana Jones thing. <laughs> Indiana Jones with mage hands. Yeah. Yeah. Don't forget the mage hand high five afterwards. Yes. Okay, so, sorry, um, repeat, <laughs> I was not So, they're, they're Indiana jones it, but yeah. using mage hands. I'm picking it up, okay. and Ranos is leaving the counterfeit. Okay, 
Um. Both of you give me an arcana check. Oh boy. These things are pretty beefy. Okay. And Geo as well. Nice! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just. They swap out almost instantaneously. Memories of Skaith come back to you and his trickery with his, uh, his little sight of hand. And the orb. I mean, you're not even sure, Rory and uh, Zin, you're not even sure they've swapped out. Um, nothing's happened, as far as you're aware. And the orb floats back over to you, um, whoever has it now. Um, and you I... now hold the pearl of the pearl of power. Or whatever it is. Identified uh, it! I'm thinking it should be going straight into... Uh, <laughs> straight into a bag of holding. Yes. I'd identify it first. Uh, I can do it instantly. Uh, yes, you can do it instantly. Please do it instantly. <laughs> okay. You can take out your uh, stone of identification and you identify it. Um, and it appears to be... Um, it's, you don't get a, a great read on it. It appears to be some kind of a power source. Um, whatever it is, you're not sure what its purpose is necessarily, but you know it stores a great deal of energy. Okay. So it's an affinity stone. It is. Oh, why have I not done this yet? Um, that's another story. Don't, like don't snap! <laughs> he goes, don't that snap. was a cinch! And you will half of you die. I don't feel so good. For some reason, it's only Rory that disappears, actually. Um, <laughs> 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 okay, uh, so you identify it, and it appears to be just some uh, item, some source of immense power. Um, though its use and what and how would you would it, um, tap such a source is difficult to uh, discern at this point. Well, put um, it in, in this tower, in the water deep, and then hit it really hard with. <laughs> there you go. You have a nuke. Um, <laughs> you have a D and D nuke. You pop the bag water in the back of holding. Um, and that is where we will end for today. Whew. Nice. So, good job navigating the labyrinth. <sighs> um, you, you missed all my minutes. Um, yes. You, uh, Rory, you came this close. This close. Um, but uh, as for the recording, uh, that's everything. So uh, as far as I'm aware, we're on, on as normal next week. It's just, are you not joining us next week, Jacob? Uh, I might not be. Okay. Uh, in two weeks, I'm a definite no. Definite no in two no. weeks, maybe next week, in a week. I'll, I'll let you know. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Thank I, you. I need to be, I need to make